HGGC live Sunday service starts right now. Sunday service. This service today in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, dear Jesus, say, oh Lord, I thank you that today I am in your presence. Say, dear Jesus, I thank you that today I'm in your presence. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, I thank you that you, oh Lord, found me worthy to be part of today's service. Say, dear Jesus, I know it's not by might nor by power, but it is by your grace. Therefore, O oh Lord, I render my thanksgiving unto you. I render my thanks to you, O oh Lord, that you have shown mercy unto me in this day. Say, O oh Lord, Oh Lord, I thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you, oh Lord, for your mercy. Open your lips and thank him in the name of Jesus. Begin to open your lips and thank the Lord in the name of Jesus. Begin to open your lips and thank him that he is not a dead king, but he is the risen king. Come on, somebody open your lips. Open your lips and begin to thank him. Open your lips and thank him. Many desire to be here today, but they are not here. It is not by your own power. It is not by your own might that you are here today, but it is by the perfect and divine will of God that you are in this place. Open your lips right now. Open your lips right now. Open your lips right now. Thank him. Thank the master. Thank the great king that he has allowed you, that he has allowed you to be in this place. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit, we thank you that even today, O oh Lord, we are in your presence. That even today, O oh Lord, your glory is with us. That even even today, O oh Lord, your grace is with us. Father, we bless your holy name. Father, we glorify you. Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for your grace. We thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. Come on, open your lips and pray. Open your lips and thank him. Open your lips and thank him. Open your lips and thank him. Thank Jesus, thank the Lord that you are in his presence once more. Open your lips and pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Hallelujah. The Bible says in that book of Hosea, 14 verse 1, it says, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all our sins and receive us graciously that we may offer the fruit of our lips. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The greatest hindrance between us and God has always been seen. Hallelujah. The greatest hindrance between God answering you and you hearing God, it has been seen. Hallelujah. 
Right now, I want us to open our lips and begin to ask Jesus, this blood that was shed on the cross, that carries power to redeem, to save. We cannot save ourselves, but we can destroy ourselves. We need answers from him, but our sin has become our downfall. Hallelujah. As the Bible has said, we should take up words with us and ask him that let your gracious mercy be shown over us and we, O oh Lord, shall return unto you. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to ask for forgiveness from the Lord? Say, dear Jesus, say, dear Jesus, that yes, I am, that yes, I am, I know, O oh Lord, you can still cleanse me. Say, dear Jesus, Unworthy as I am, I come to you in need, O oh Lord, of your forgiveness. Say, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Say, my sins, O oh Lord, my sins, O oh Lord, are my downfall. But in you, O oh Lord, there lies my hope. But in you, O oh Lord, there lies my forgiveness. Be cleansed. Forgive me, O oh Lord, and I know I shall be forgiven. Pardon me, O oh Lord, and I know I will be pardoned. Say, cleanse me, O oh Lord, by your precious blood by your precious blood and I know I shall be cleansed open your lips in the name of Jesus humble yourself before his presence ask him to cleanse you ask him to purify you ask him to wash you with his precious blood it is only in your blood O oh Lord where we find our forgiveness it is only in your blood oh lord where lies our forgiveness lord jesus we come unto you oh lord in search of your forgiveness father you said in your word oh lord that our sins oh father will continuously become our downfall we should return unto you oh lord humble ourselves oh lord seek your face diligently oh lord and you, O oh Lord, will show your mercy over us, O oh Father. Come on, somebody, open your lips and begin to ask for God's forgiveness. Open your lips and begin to ask for God to pardon you. Open your lips and begin to ask God to wash you, to cleanse you with his precious blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your lips and pray. Open your lips and pray. Pardon us, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh Lord, our trespasses. Father, we sin against you, aware or unaware. We sin against you in deeds and in action. We sin against you in acts that we are aware of and in acts that we are not aware of. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we humble ourselves before a throne of praise and worthy as we are, O oh Lord. We know, O oh Father, that you can still cleanse us. And worthy as we are, O oh Lord, we know, O oh dear Jesus, that you can still wash us. Wash us, O oh Lord. Cleanse us, O oh Jesus, and we shall be cleansed in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your lips and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your lips and pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we're afraid. In Jesus' wonderful name, we're afraid. Now that our sins are forgiven, we can now exercise our rightful authority in Christ Jesus. I want us to open our lips right now and begin to command today to favor us. For we know that each day carries its own blessing. And for us to be partakers, we need to ensure that we are in the right standing with God. As we are here to, today, the blessing of God is here. But you need to open your lips and ask Jesus 
to allow today to favor you. You need to open your lips and tell him that you are aware that he is in this place to heal, to bless, and to save. May your case not escape his anointing in the name of Jesus. Say, dear Jesus, say, dear Jesus, here I am, O oh Lord. Here I am, O oh Father, in your presence. Say, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, let today favor my life. Let today favor my family. Let today favor my life. In the name of Jesus, say, dear Jesus, I am aware, O oh Lord, I am aware, O oh Father, that you are in this place to heal, to save, to bless, and to deliver. Say, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, do not pass me by. 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 Say, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, let today, let today favor me. Let today favor my life. Let today favor my family. Say, dear Jesus, today must favor me. Today is my day of deliverance. Today is my day of salvation. Today is my day of healing. Today is my day of blessings. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, let today favor my life in the name of Jesus. Open your lips and pray. Open your lips and pray. Begin to command today. Begin to command today to favor you in the name of Jesus. To favor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to open your lips and pray in the name of Jesus. Let today favor you. Let today favor your life. Let today favor your family. Let today favor your career. Let today favor your marriage. Let today favor your spouse in the name of Jesus. Let today favor your children in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, open your lips and pray. Open your lips and pray. Open your lips and pray. You know your situation. You know your challenges. Do not pray as if everything is okay. Pray like a person who understands that such hours, such moments of prayer might pass us by. Utilize this hour. Utilize this moment of prayer and begin to command today to favor you, to favor your life, to favor your family, to favor your career, to favor your children. In the name of Jesus, let today favor us, O oh Lord. Let this day favor us, O oh Lord. Let today favor us, O oh Lord. Let this day favor us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we know you are in this place. Father, we know you are in this place. To heal, O oh Lord. To deliver, O oh Lord. Save me today. Deliver me today. Heal me today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I will not allow such moment to pass my life by. I will not allow such gracious hour to pass my, my life by. Dear Jesus, favor me now. Dear Jesus, let this day favor my life in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Say today, today you have favored me. I cannot hear you. Say today, today is my day. Say today is my day of deliverance. Today is my day of blessings. Today 
is my day of rescue in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we clap our hands for Jesus? Life itself teaches us that you cannot acknowledge freedom unless you are once bound. You can unless you are once poor. Hallelujah. Can we just take this moment, take this hour to also pray for those who are on the prayer line. Remember when you were sick, someone was praying for you to be healed. Hallelujah. When you were in need of deliverance, someone was praying for your freedom. Can you take this moment, take this hour and pray for those who are yet to be prayed, hallelujah, to say, oh Lord, as you have shown mercy over my life, show mercy over them also. Father, with their different challenges, different predicaments, oh Lord Jesus, if you have rescued me, rescue them also in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray for your neighbor who is bound? Are you ready to pray for your mother who is sick? Are you ready to pray for your brother who is sick in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Say, oh Lord, say merciful Father, you, oh Lord, shows mercy to those you choose who is sick, oh Lord. Consider my neighbor who is bound, oh Lord Jesus, as you have rescued me, as you have saved me, as you have delivered me, deliver them also today in the name of Jesus. Say, dear Jesus, you have healed me because you are the healer. Say, oh Lord, oh Jehovah Rapha, show forth your grace of healing, oh Lord, over your children that are in need of your healing today, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, dear Jesus, you are the deliverer. Say, today, deliver them, oh Lord, those who are bound in the name of Jesus. Open your lips and pray in the name of Jesus. Ask God to deliver them. Ask God to rescue them. Ask God to save them. Ask God to heal them. When you were bound, someone was praying for you. When you were sick, someone was praying for you. When you were in lack, somebody was praying for you. So you also use this moment, use this hour, use this time to pray for your neighbor, to pray for your brother, to pray for your sister, to pray for your mother, to pray for your father who is on the prayer line in search of God's mercy, in search of God's intervention in the name of Jesus. Open your lips and pray for them. Father, you once delivered us. Deliver them also today. Lord, you once rescued us. Rescue them today. Lord, you once set them free today as you did with us in the name of Jesus. Father, you are a merciful God. If you have shown mercy to me, show mercy to my neighbor. If you have shown mercy to me, show mercy to my sick sister. If you have shown mercy to me, show mercy to my bound brother. If you have shown mercy to me, show mercy to my brother or my mother who is in lack, O oh Lord. Father, you have allowed us, O oh Lord, to be fruitful, O oh Lord. Let those who are barren receive their fruitfulness in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as you have closed the doors of leg in our lives, oh Lord, begin to close doors of leg also in their lives and open doors, oh Lord, of blessings in their lives. In the name of Jesus, of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Say, neighbor, I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you and I need you to survive in this battlefield. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No man is an island. Hallelujah. In as much as you were once prayed for, you also need to pray for someone. Hallelujah. In as much as we are expecting the servant of God to pray for us, he also needs us to pray for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, he usually teaches us and says, I am nothing without the presence of God. If the presence of God departs from me, I'm just a mere man, not even equal to be called the servant of God. Hallelujah. So we need to pray 
for him to say, oh Lord, continue to cover him. Continue to allow your spirit to rest over his life. Dear Jesus, continue to use him as a channel of light where there is darkness. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, I commit, oh Lord, your servant, oh Lord, Apostle Samuel Rabutin, in your holy hands. Dear Jesus, use him, oh Lord, according to your mercy. Say, oh Lord, use him today as a channel of light where there is darkness, a channel of healing, where there is sickness, a channel of blessing, where there is poverty. Say, oh Lord, dear Jesus, use him today to exalt your name in the name of Jesus. Say, dear Jesus, use your servant to rescue me in my predicaments in the name of Jesus. Dear Jesus, let the oil of your anointing over his life continue to overflow. Dear Jesus, as he is defending your gospel, continue, O oh Lord, to defend him and his household, defend his life, defend his marriage, defend his children, defend his calling, defend his gift, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for him as he is praying for us. We say, oh Lord, let your blessings, O oh Father, let your grace, O oh Lord, be found in his life. In the name of Jesus, continue to use him, O oh Lord, as a vessel of honor in your holy hands. In the name of Jesus, dear Jesus, continue to use his eyes to see, O oh Lord, beyond the curtain of time. Continue to use his lips, O oh Lord, to utter deep words, O oh Lord, Lord, that will bring forth rescue, healing, blessing, and Father, continue to give him the hunger to do your will the more. Continue to give him the hunger to read your word the more. Continue to give him the hunger to serve you the more. Father, in the name of Jesus, let an overflow of your grace, overflow of your prophetic anointing, overflow of your healing anointing, overflow of your deliverance anointing be over his life in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus open your lips and pray for the servant of God in the name of Jesus Christ come on somebody open your lips and pray 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 ask God for his mercy to be shown over his servant in the name of Jesus Christ Open your lips and pray in the name of Jesus. In as much as we need him to pray for us, he also needs us to pray for him. Because man is not an island. He cannot do it on his own. It's mercy to be shown over his life. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your lips and pray. 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 Ask God to show forth his hand of mercy. To show forth his hand of mercy over the life of his servant. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, neighbor. Neighbor, I am blessed. Say, neighbor, I am healed. Say, neighbor, I am delivered. Say, neighbor, look at me, oh. I'm no longer the same. Say, neighbor, I am filled with the blessing of God. Say, neighbor, look at my tears. They are no longer tears of sorrow, but they are now tears of joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap your hands as someone who is saying, I am blessed, I am healed, I am delivered, I am redeemed by Christ Jesus. Clap your hands as, as someone who is saying, I am standing in my position as a ruler. The enemy has failed. Satan has failed. If he has failed to kill me yesterday, he will never kill me again. If he has failed to destroy my life, he will never destroy it again. Because God has done it for me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has done it for me. Say, neighbor, Jesus Christ has done it for me. Say, neighbor, 
Jesus Christ has done it for you, what can we say unto him? Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Lord. A cheerful noise, hallelujah. A joyful shout, hallelujah, of people who are thankful. I leave you in an atmosphere filled with blessings, filled with healing, filled with testimonies, hallelujah. And I know that I will surely meet you in that very same atmosphere, hallelujah. You will testify of the goodness of the Lord, hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I am blessed. Say, neighbor, I am healed. Say, neighbor, I am delivered. Neighbor, I am redeemed. In the <laughs>
Yes, good morning, people of God. We welcome you to the segment of testimonies where we know that testimony for one is testimony for all. Yes, viewers all over the world, wherever you are watching us from, remember that the same grace that is here, it is there where you are as distance, is not a barrier to the move of God. Yes, people of God, as we are in the segment of testimonies, we are about to share experiences that has happened to the weekly dominion prayers that takes place here in the seraphic land. Yes, people of God, as the servant of God has said in his word that the signs of revival are evident. We are seeing glimpses of revival because the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is near. Yes, people of God, and the man of God said that man ought to pray. So as you listen to the following experience of our brother, pay attention. Because the man of God also explained that as the gentleman will be sharing his experience, as the man of God has introduced us to realms of prayer, listen attentively in Jesus' name. Yes, our brother, you are welcome to our Glory Global Church. Please introduce yourself, tell us your name, your age, and where you're coming from. Uh, my name is Joseph, my name is Joseph. I stay here in Kwakwa, I'm from Matike. Yes, people of God, before our brother continues, if you can just fix your eyes on the screens of your televisions. In Jesus' name. These people of God, you are about to see and look and watch a video of what had transpired yesterday during the Dominion prayer. Glad that he's taking us into other realms of prayer. As you are watching, fixing your eyes on the screens of your television, let us watch the video of what had transpired in his life as we can see on the television screens that our brother has entered into another realm of prayer as the servant of God was releasing this realms of prayer into individuals who were in our midst. Yes, people of God, let us continue with the experience of our brother. Yes, our brother, as we have watched the video on the screens of your, our televisions, can you share with us your experience pertaining to the video that we had just watched? Yesterday, I was here for the prayer night, and the man of God has said to us that we must stand up on our feet and begin to pray. So, as I was praying, and I had, I faced distractions, things that were disturbing me to pray, things that were in my mind, and as I continued to pray, I realized my language changed. I began to speak in tongues, and as I was continuing, I realized that I entered another realm of prayer. That is the realm that needs stamina for it to continue. That man of God spoke about. It. And as I prayed, as I prayed, I can feel something in my body. Then I fell on the ground and I was praying and I realized that my language in tongues was beginning to intensify. My tongues were becoming more stronger and stronger and stronger. So 
I got up on my knees and I began to pray even harder. So in the second realm, when you pray, it's like you are fighting against the flesh, so you may continue to pray. And when you pray, the flesh is fighting you, it's telling you stop, but what is inside it cannot stop. And prayer was still continuing, was still continuing, and I the tongues were becoming more fire. And as I was praying, I realized that I have entered into the third realm of prayer, the realm of fire. And as I was praying, in that realm, nothing can stand in front of you. The flesh is dead. Everything is dead. In that realm, I felt like I was two places at the same time. I felt like I was here and I was, another, I was at another place. And as I, begin, as I began to pray, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. And I, was, I realized that my, my tongues changed again. They became, they became even more intensified. Hunger for God was, was beginning to increase, was beginning to intensify. In that realm, I felt like my spirit wanted to come out of my body so that my spirit can be free. And as I was praying, I looked, at, I, I, I looked up. And as I looked up, I could not see what was happening. My eyes could not see. My, my hands were, were controlling themselves. My spirit was tuned to the frequency of God. I could not comprehend what had just happened. In that realm, you are, it's, it's like you are charged. Fire was coming out of my body. Fire was in my body. As I was praying, I feel like something was manifesting. And man, as I opened my eyes, man of, I saw a man of God pointing at me, and he said, my son, it's your time. Ascend, ascend, ascend. You are ascending. And as man of God was praying for the people in front of me and next to me, uh, they disturbed me while I was, I, 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 I began to be disturbed, and I was forced to move from where I was praying. So I lost the connection of uh, the third realm. I returned to the second realm. So I was in the second realm, but when I, when I realized, I saw that man of God has ended the prayer service. I was so disappointed. I, why are you ending it? I'm, I'm feeling it. Why? <laughs> And as, I wa and as I was still crying to God to, to give me grace to, to tap into the third realm again, so I was given a form that I must sign, and as I was waiting, my, my, my body could not, could not control itself. I was still tuned to the vibration of the Holy Spirit. And when I, I was still speaking in tongues, and... They were more. They were getting intensified, intensified. To my way, to my home, to my way home, I was still praying in tongues, praying in tongues, praying in tongues. As I reached home, I was summoned to pray again, and I went to, to pray uh, in my room. As I was praying, I fought again to fight the first realm of prayer, and I say I reached the second realm again. But uh, the realm of fire, I could not reach again. But as I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I could feel there is something here. There's something taking place here. And my spirit wanted to come out. It was, it, it was clinging and bending. Set me free, set me free. And I stopped praying. I went to go to sleep. And I, as I was falling to sleep, I was still in, in pray. As I, as I fell asleep, I could see a creature I did not I cannot explain and as I was still seeing this it went all black I could not see nothing and as I woke up it was not the normal waking up it was like my spirit was being thrown in my body it was like my spirit was somewhere my body was here and it was like I don't know what was happening and by the grace of God I I like to thank God for ex
Yes, people of God, we have paid attention to the experience of our brother. Just taking us back, remember that as our brother has been explaining all the stages of prayer, remember that the man of God said that these are the vibrations of Zion. So indeed, our brother had, has experienced the vibrations of Zion as our man of God has said through this dominion prayers. So our brother, through all your experience, what can you say about the power of God? I can say that uh, the power of God uh, cannot be measured. God cannot be, you cannot know God. No one can completely know of God. And the power of God is so great that no one can stand in front of him. And me, I felt it firsthand that no, I cannot stand in front of God. And I have no way. I, I like to thank God for the manifestation of the Spirit, uh, the, the, in, uh, the realm of prayer that I visited. I like to thank God. We thank you, our brother, as we cheerfully clap for Jesus Christ. Yes, indeed. This is clear evidence that God, he cuts through race, gender. He cuts through background. He's not a respecter of men because God is not like a man. He does not look at your background nor your race. God is not like a man as he has said in the book of Psalms that he has created the, the human race he has put them to be a little lower than the angels. So our brother, we rejoice with you in what the Lord has done. And we pray that he will intensify. He will intensify more in your life as you walk in the light of your testimony. In Jesus' name. Good morning and win today. Good morning and win today.
Hallelujah. We are still continuing with faith building testimonies. Testimonies that are an epitome that Christ is in our midst, an epitome of revival, resurrection, and restoration to the glory of God. Mama, we welcome you to House of Glory Global Church. Can you kindly introduce yourself? Tell us your name, your age, and where you come from. And please introduce the gen gentleman sitting next to you. Good morning and win today, people of God. My name is Molo Imam Sebeti. I'm 55 years old, residing in Debert. The person stand, uh, sitting on my side is my niece, is Mboisa Mbongo. You can continue to share with us your glorious testimony. On the 3rd of March this year, um, it was in the morning of a Saturday when my niece was found lying at the side of the street at the verge of dying. Uh, he was really in a vegetative stage whereby he was assaulted and uh, it was like the people that assaulted him thought he was dead. And then he was taken to hospital on arrival to hospital, he was then transferred to the scan for further diagnosis. He was found to be having brain injury. Then he was urgently transferred to Bloemfontein where he was admitted. Then the following week, I came here um, at home um, whereby I wanted to check on him. So, and unfortunately, he was still in Bloomfield, able to move. He was unable to talk. He was, um, the, the right side had a stroke. Then, it is whereby I took this medium of anointed water and ministered unto him. Uh, declaring dominion over life, over death. And I also tuned into Facebook whereby I, be, I went back to the hospital, I prayed with him, I gave him um, a faith bracelet, I put it on the hand that had a stroke, and we continued to to pray through this medium again. And I declared that within seven days, he will be able to walk and he will be out of a dead hospital. He will be returned back home. Uh, just because our father usually says, the son of the prophet shall prophesy like his father. Then I took a leap of faith to prophesy upon his life to say you will be healed, healed within seven days. Then uh, on Tuesday, the following day again, when I arrived at the hospital, I, I was told that he is uh, responding and he has been discharged. Clap you your hands be. wonderfully for Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Mama, perhaps the people of God do not edit him a situation on the third where he almost died. He had bruises on his skull, which then resulted to a minor brain damage. How about his situation, particularly his brain damage? Um, when, when a person suffered a brain damage, a uh, brain the side, the hand and the leg will suffer stroke. And then if uh, the, the left side has been affected, the opposite side will suffer stroke. And it usually takes a long time, usually a permanent disability, whereby he will be like not being able to walk properly. Then I saw God, I saw God, um, because of this major brain injury. 
So you mean that you saw changes after administering the dominion water on him. What are the things that he was able to do after prayer that he could not do before? Uh, the first sign that I saw is that on the second day when I went back to the hospital, he was he able to move? As you said, that he had suffered a minor stroke on his right side. What are the things that he could not do? With he, his couldn't, body? he couldn't. He couldn't speak, he couldn't walk, he couldn't even lift the leg or the hand. But after the prayer, he became able to. Wow, clap your hands wonderfully for Jesus Christ. Now, if you could just believe that uh, the Lord is still at work in him, as he still cannot um, utter a word, he still cannot speak. However, uh, God has healed him bodily-wise. He's now able to move now for the glory of God, my brother. If you could just stand up to the glory of God to show what the Lord has begun to do in you. This is the power of God, people of God. Clap your hands wonderfully for Jesus Christ. We think I'm how to in that state, but I saw God. Clap your hands wonderfully for Jesus Christ. Indeed, the book of Jeremiah 32 verse 27 says, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Indeed, there is nothing that is too hard for the Lord. Now, Mama, we believe that you have a second testimony to share with us. Yes, indeed, I've got a second testimony. Um... Uh, it's like uh, God visited my family with um, his miracles upon the brains. My mother, one day in 2023, it was also in March, in the
bones. Was she able to do that before prior to prayer? She was lying unconscious, People unable of to God. do anything and even to hear. This is the dead coming back to life. Clap your hands to Master Jesus. You can continue, madam. Then the doctors still wanted to take her out of the oxygen. Um, even they also wanted to operate on her abdomen because she was on nasogastric tube feeding, the tube that that is placed through the nose. Uh, they wanted to place a tube on her stomach, directly on the stomach, so that uh, she can be fed through. Uh, we disagreed with the doctors again, and we started to feed her on her mouth. And she, she started slowly to swallow, and the doctor insisted on discharging her so that we can take care of her at home, because we refused when they were supposed to switch the machines off. We refused when they wanted to operate on her. So it has to be us who should take care of her. So we agreed with the doctors that they can discharge her. When we went to the hospital to fetch her, the other doctor said that she couldn't be um, taken home. Then she stood for another week whereby after that she was discharged home. So up to so far. I'll clap your hands wonderfully for Master Jesus. Indeed, this is our year to rule over death, over any situation that is undesirable in our lives. Now, my mother, what are your words of gratitude for what God has done? I mean, the same God. <laughs> Um, no matter how complicated is the diagnosis, the diagnosis in the hands of God is just the name. So, yeah. Amen. <laughs> Clap your hands wonderfully for those words of advice. And I'd also like to encourage you and your nephew, according to the book of Philippians 1 verse 6, that I am confident in this very thing, that the Lord that has begun a good work in you shall finish it until the coming of Jesus Christ. Yes, people of God, we are still continuing with our live testimonies. Our brother, you're more than welcome to House of the Lord of our Church. Introduce yourself. Tell us your name, your age, and where you're coming from. Good morning, people of God. Um, my name is Lebempo. I'm 20 years old, and I come from... Uh, 2022, I was doing my matric, and um, early October, um, I started to encounter an unusual problem. I was collapsing. I was very... I was collapsing. They took some few tests and uh, the test came back saying that I am I'm having seizures. Um, seizures is the problem whereby uh, 
is a problem that it it usually cause it it it's usually caused by um, brain uh, overload. So meaning if uh, you you do certain things or if, if it, it happens most of it happened uh, uh, mostly when I was in class and when I was studying. So I I usually collapsed and then um, on in twenty twenty three. I got a grace to to take uh, part in the in the Seraphic land and the man of God laid his hand on me and I was declared free. Now share with the people of God what was your experience after you received prayer from them from the man of God. Um, the experience was powerful and I I manifested and then I manifested and the the evil spirit um, was saying that um, they try, they are trying to destroy me through seizures because I have a bright future. And um, I, I I went back to the doctor um, to take some few tests, and they also took my blood. And after the test, I was declared free. They found that there was no seizure. Clap your hands for the miracle working God. Um, uh, second testimony. Yeah. My second testimony goes like this: on in uh, on Friday, I came for the. Uh, the the communion service. I was struggling to get a bazari. I think it's now one year and three months. I couldn't get a bazari at all. Now I explain to the people of God. How was this problem of not having funding affecting your life? It affected me badly, people of God, because I was studying in fear. I was the school was sending uh, sending me emails that I will be academically excluded if I don't pay fees on time. And I was really studying in fear, and I was starting to have anxiety problems and depression. And I had to move from where I was renting back home because we were financially trained. And uh, after after taking part in the in the uh, communion service, um, I received an email, and I I found out I was granted a bazaar. Clap your hands for Master Jesus. Now, you are telling the people of God that you received a basari soon after you drank and ate the communion. Soon after I drank. Oh, Bella Morena, Jesu Matoho. You experience and thank the goodness of the Lord for healing and also blessing you. The, I could say that the experience was very fruitful. Um, uh, the, whole, the, the communion service was very powerful. There was a, the, the presence of God was here, was in this place, and I'm grateful. And on in in Saturday, I I, part, I partook the the service on on the dominion prayer, and uh, I had an encounter with the man of God, and I was I was actually in in another realm, if I could say that. It was Saturday was very powerful, people of God, and it was my first experience praying that way, and. It was very nice, people of God, and I believe that spiritually I... Indeed, these dominion prayer services are reviving souls and setting the bound free. Our brother, thank the goodness of the Lord and encourage the people of God who are in this place. I, I really thank the Lord. I really thank him. I don't know what to say, people of God. I was, I was really struggling, people of God, to be honest. And this affected me badly. But God made a way where there was no way. Okay. And for people who are going through the same situation as me, um, Romans chapter 8, verse 18 says that the suffering you are going through right now is nothing compared to the glory I will reveal to you. Thank you. Indeed, he has revealed his glory to you. Make the word of God the standard of your life. Good morning and win today.
people of God, we still continue with the glorious testimonies of what the Lord has done, what the Lord is doing, and what He is here to do in our lives. We, good morning, and in today, my Father, welcome you to House of Glory Global Church. Please introduce yourself. My name is Abusi Keto from Eastern Cape in Enobo. May you kindly share with us your glorious testimony today. I started uh, doing ministry a few years back, and then uh, I had uh, the privilege to get the site. And then that site uh, we, could, we, we could get, it was 40 by 40 meters, but what I could build with the brothers that uh, the congregation, we had to build only nine by five meters so that we can have a place of worship. We all wanted it to be, but uh, I was glad and satisfied that uh, at least I've got a place of worship whereby we can praise the Lord. But I had a, 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 a something that was burdening my spirit was that uh, our place was not in, in, a, in, a, in a right way, like there was no fencing, it was not plastered and all that. But uh, I was okay that at least we've got a place of worship. So I've been coming also to HGGC for prayer, for breakthrough, that God may make a way. Um, but there was nothing happening. But I, I, I trusted on the, on, the, on the word that is in desire, saying, those who wait on the Lord, uh, one day shall renew their strength. So I came. And on the 6th of January this year, during the Key of David service, I was here. Uh, and then I was privileged also that I got an opportunity to receive a key. And there were declarations that the servant of God uh, he uttered on that day. So on our way back, I said to the congregation, please don't open the church until I come because I think I need to do something. So when I get to church on the 14th of January, I make the same de declarations, the same old, the, the, the man of God was doing here. And then I said today, in, in this year 2024, we are dominating, we are ruling, we are overcoming. Every burden that we have, we are overcoming. So we started the service and then it was fine. We went to the fasting that was happening here in church for 21 days, and then we get into that fasting also. Then on the 29th of January, I received an email. Uh, there was some applications that I was doing to some organizations asking for help, for assistance, so that our, our church building can be in a, in, in a proper way. So before you can further continue with your testimony, how was the building, how deep was it affecting your surfaces? 14. So now because of the winds, the, the, the roof was starting also now to starting to, to move up and down when it's windy. And then now we see that if it's raining, we'll have no service sometimes because the, the, the place is not in a proper space, in a proper way. And what was battling me also was that uh, people were just passing their by, by, even in the front of their door, even if we are doing the service, uh, because it didn't look nice as, there's a, as, a, as a place maybe to say this is really a church. So that was affecting me badly. How was the situation affecting the attendance of the congregants? Normally, if the weather is bad, there will be no church. Maybe it will be me and my family, or we don't go because the weather is not is not suitable for anybody that uh, we could go to church. Usually, the apostle of this house says we should not quench the spirit. This says on those days you were not able to preach the word of God. How was this affecting you as the pastor? It was affecting to the point that sometimes you say, did I really hear God that he called me? Did I really, God has laid on my, on, on my life? 
people of God, be aware that usually Satan makes a plan. One way or the other, he usually makes a plan. He planted a seed of doubt in Pastor Keto's calling. So this is whereby he had doubted his calling at one point due to the situations of the conditions of his building and the congregants not attending. So you may further explain to us now that you had the key, you prayed with the key, now you say you are receiving uh, the funding that uh, you have applied for. It is, uh, you, you have received it. So we will be coming down in three weeks time, in, in three weeks time, to extend your building, to make it new. Remember I had a, a nine by five meter, they said we will extend it by 10 by eight meters. People of God, clap your hands. Clap your hands louder, people of God. So now, Pastor, we want to understand, for how long did you apply for the grant of help? From this organization, uh, it was two years ago that I applied for them to assist me, but with no luck. So, but after I came here and the declaration that I received this key of David, the door was opened. The door of two years back was opened within a few weeks. But I... People of God, you may now watch the screens of your televisions to see the before of the building that the pastor had. How did it look? Then you also have the view of the after receiving the email due to the key of David. This is was the before receiving the key of David. This is how the building looked like. This is now the renovated building of the new church. Clap your hands, people of God. Indeed, patience is virtue. So now, Pastor Ketua, this is the new building that comes after the key of David, after praying to the Lord that God do something for my congregation, God do something for my calling. So now that you have the building, how long did it take for this building to stand? This building only took uh, three weeks to be completed, to be like that. It only took three weeks. In the request that you made trying to find help to have that building, what did you specifically ask for or whatever they offered? Is it what you exactly offered? You, is it what exactly you asked for? No, not at all. Because this one now they've done, it is exceptional more than what I asked. Because I asked them if they can plaster for me that one that I had maybe and are coming back to build a preschool for you also for the church in the site. Indeed, we know that his messes are new every day. Every day his messes are new. So now, Pastor, what can you say to other pastors out there who are struggling, who are doubting their calling? By a prophet, Israel was rescued. The Bible says, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. If you stay and wait humbly for the Lord, wait where you are, God will visit you at the point of need. And I, uh, my prayer now that may God give me grace not to forget who helped me when I was down there, when I'm up there. From the House of Glory Global Church family, we say, go and read Peter, the second Peter, chapter 3, verse 9, and says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness, instead he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish.
our sister, you're more than welcome to House of Dorilabar Church, Apostle Samba Robert and Ministry. Introduce yourself, tell us your name, your age, and where you're coming from. Um, my, name is the Lord. my name is Anders Aguayama, I'm 21 years old, and I'm from KZN. Share with us your various testimony. Um, so it all started in 2021, where I saw a testimony of a lady online. So this lady said that, she said that um, God used to show her question papers in her dreams before it test her exams. Um, to be honest, I did not believe her testimony. I was very doubtful, and I just thought, in a way, it was cheating. Um, so to me, it all, I started experiencing the grace in 2022. Um, I shared my testimony, so I'm just going to make a summary. Um, so I was left behind in my physiology work, and I had a test to write in a few days. It was a lot of work to cover. And, and then God showed me, well, someone told me in the dream what I was going to be tested. Yeah, so that, that's how I got an 80 for that test, even though I had not prepared well for it. Okay, so I'm just going to continue from there. Um, it continued now. It was semester two. Um, our lecturer told us that we we're going to write a test the next day. And then he said that we, he was... Now, for the glory of God, we would like to encourage you that this is your safest place. Calm down. Remembering that giving a testimony, it is to carry the people of God along. Introduce yourself. Tell us your name, your age, and where you're coming from. My name is Andy Sagwayam. I'm 21 years old, and I'm from Kegor Anna. Share with us your glorious testimony. Um, like I said, so now it was semester two, and then um, so our lecturer told us that um, we we're going to write a test the following day, and he specifically said that he wasn't going to include calculations in the test. Um, we were all happy because um, there was a pause he had not explained. Uh, so the next day, uh, so oh, before the next day, on the day where he told us that, I slept, and then I had a dream that. In the dream, someone told me that the calculations were going to be tested. Um, so in waking up from the dream, I, I studied the calculations, I went through the work, and the following day I went to the test, and yes, the calculations were there. It was a surprise to everyone, but by the grace of God, I was not surprised because, because God had told me. Um, also, um, in 2023, um, we were writing a genetics test, and so I, I studied really hard for the test because I really wanted to do well. Um, and then... So, and then I was tired, and I was like, okay, I'm going to rest. But there was this one slide I had not covered at all. But I just decided to leave it because I was tired. And then I went to sleep. So that day I dreamt that, okay, what was that? And then, and then I slept again. Um, and then I was told that the work I had to study is in lecture two. And then I woke up from that dream. I was writing early in the morning. I think, I'm not sure what, what was the time. I think around nine, but I was writing in the morning. So I was panicking. It's okay, I'm very close to writing the test but I still have work to cover. And then I prayed to God to, to please make me remember what is it that I have to study. And then God made me remember that it was that slide that I left. And like, she just tasted the slide, yet what it was. So um, yeah, I aced the test, the test, I got an 80%. And the way they marked our work an 80% is, is a huge mark, but it's really, really a huge mark because um, for every one point, you have half a mark. So I had to write a lot of work. For 10 points, you have like five marks. So I had to really like write a lot of work to get it. Clap your hands for the miracle working God. Um, also in 2022, I had a biochemistry test to write and um, I wasn't prepared for the test. I was left behind at my work. Um, so. I was I was afraid because I had been doing well with my schoolwork. First prayed using um, the spiritual items, the anointing water and the anointing perfume, and then I used the I used the seraphim TV pen. I anointed the seraphim TV pen with the anointing water and the anointed perfume, and then I went to my test venue to to write the test. I used the I used the seraphim TV pen, the anointed seraphim TV pen, to write my only my student number. Okay, so after, and then now, after a few days, we received our results, and then I met my friend on the way, as I was going to, like, the topic for an essay, she told me, and we wrote the same essay, so I was afraid if I failed the test or not, it was a 12-month essay. Okay, 
So um, I went to the to that venue where we were supposed to fetch our scripts. I t I collected my paper and I got a B for the test. So when I checked my scripts, I saw that the essay was marked right, even though it was the same essay. My essay was marked right and hers her was marked wrong. That is why she failed. <laughs> and then, so I doubted that. I was like, how can this happen? Can this be God? I was like confused. Because maybe somebody they're gonna find my scripts and then maybe I'm gonna be marked down. I was afraid. I was confused because how can this happen? And then um, I slept that day. I had a dream where I saw the man of God in the dream. Um, he was casting out demons in that room, and then are, re are the spirits really out? You know, I, I doubted. I was searching if they are really out. So waking up from that dream, I realized God that God was telling me I must stop doubting Him. Now, our sister, take us a while back. You mentioned something very important. You said you watched a testimony and you doubted that testimony. But now what is working for you academically is the same thing that you doubted. Now you are starting to receive question papers and instructions in your dreams. Yes. The same thing that you thought was cheating is now happening to you. Yes. <laughs> um, also, online services a lot because I couldn't come here all the time. Um, so that really used to strengthen me spiritually. It strengthened my relationship with God a lot. And it got to a point also where God, God used to give me advices in the dreams that how should I prosper, like how should I prosper academically. Um, you know, I remember this one time he showed me a revelation. That also, he would give me tips on what to eliminate in order to make more time to study. Um, also, um, yeah, so that meditating will help me so much. I will use the, the pair of bracelets. Um, it will help me so much because um, it will make me remember, I'll be able to remember my high school work and I was doing my third year last year and I'll be able to, to interpret the work I'm doing in my third year to the work I do. but I will be able to understand my work and I'll be able, sometimes uh, we're given like difficult terms, we'll be given difficult terms to interpret and God will give me. Now, take us to the end of your academic journey. What happened? I sent an email to me. So on Tuesday this week, I was at my graduation ceremony and I received the certificate, um, the degree certificate. Clap your hands for the miracle working God. Now explain the certificate you're holding in your hand. What is that? Um, it is a Bachelor of Science degree certificate. Um, uh. Now thank the goodness of the Lord. Thank the I am that I am for having your back. Um, I really terrify God for what he has done in my life. Um, it was so hard sometimes to start the work who like would be so overwhelming sometimes. So I really thank him for encouraging me, for being there for me in jail all the time. He's the reason why I'm ha I have this degree today. Encourage students in the house of the Lord. Um, I'll encourage students to, like, as the Bible says, um, we must first put like our spiritual lives first before everything else. So sometimes as students, we get to like be so overwhelmed by our way to the point about we, we neglect God. Um, so encourage everyone to, even if you're a student, make time for God, even when you're stressed about your exam and God will see you. You are a blessed nation. Walk in the light of your testimony. Good morning, Amen today. Emmanuel.
Good morning and you to them, my sister. We welcome you to House of Glory Club at Church. Please introduce yourself. Good morning, Church. My name is Muloitine. I'm originally from here. The design in Bloom from Tain. I'm 34 years of age. May you kindly share with us your testimony. Okay, people of God. Uh, testimony I get my channel. July. I was sitting this side, the middle side. Then men of God came to me and gave me a word of prophecy, saying, uh, the blessing that you have received now, it's nothing compared to what God is about to do in your life. And then, um, okay, uh, I was, I moved out of the house and then I bought I was living a house and I had a struggle in my past marriage and then I bought a stance and then I bought a shack and then I stayed there and then I started building the house and then after I came to church I received the test the the prophecy. And then after the prophecy uh in the month of December uh, me and Pad we managed to buy a brand new. Just to clarify for the people of God to make them understand. So you are saying, as you received the prophecy, were you in the process of building the house, or the house was built already? Oh, I was saying the check in in the process of building the house as you received the prophecy. Yes. Okay. Now you may continue with your testimony. Okay. And then by the time the Gili Biziki Aha uh December Hegita the Law Aha and then me and my father we 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 brought a brand new car and then um we came again for a prayer. Men of God prayed for me and give me the 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 key the dominion key and then we went back and then I received the uh, at least to seven ten seven to eight tenders of catering and then uh, so you are saying you received close to ten tenders immediately after you came to House of Glory Global Church for the service. Yes. And then uh, I went back and then I prayed, I prayed. Uh, the four tender I was applying for, it was uh, the University of the State. And then there were four, like, it was, it was, hand, oh, the first one is, it was 150 people and the second one it was 150 again and then the third one it was 350 people and then the fourth one it was 500 people so now as you are giving us the rough numbers of the sum of the tenders you got is about four tenders that you cal calculated so I want to know, you said you had about eight tenders out of them, but then you had four major tenders. That's what you are saying. Yes, and they were on a high, like the, the payment that was good on that one, on the four. Okay, so now carry us along what happens now that you have these four major tenders out of the eight you had. What happens next? Okay, after that, um, Last, 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 last month, uh, uh, last week, oh, December, we brought a brand new car, and then last week we brought another car, and we brought the new, the other uh, kitchen mobile. People of God, clap your hands louder as you watch the screens of your television. That is the second car that she bought last week. This is the first car that she bought in December. And then we also have a kitchen 
that she also bought. This is the kitchen that she bought. She also further explained to us that she built the house after receiving the testimony. Immediately when she received the testimony, that's when she built the, when she when she received the prophecy. That's when she built a house. You will also watch your screens and see the house that she built when she received this prophecy from the man of God. All these things happened in the time of five months away from the prophecy. Remember the word of prophecy said, the blessing that you have received now is nothing compared to what is coming. So now my sister, what can you say to the people of God about the word of, of prophecy? What can you say to encourage people about the word of prophecy? People who have received the word of prophecy and who are yet to receive the word of prophecy. Okay, people of God, firstly, I would like to advise people who are in business. Uh, as a business person, you don't have to give up. You have to find a spiritual mentor. You have to have someone who you you have to have someone that you 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 tell your struggles you share with what is happening in your business mentor who's more more spiritually uplifted more than you did athlete for what the lord has done in your life we say to you go and read the book of proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 it says the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich, and he adds no sorrow. Go and dominate, go and rule, go and reign in 2024. Let there be more cars in your life. Let there be more, pros let there be more prosperity. Good morning and win today. Good morning. for the years that took place yesterday. Yes, people of God, through Prophet Jewel, it was spoken in that book of Jewel 228 that, and afterwards I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy and all men will dream dreams and you, and you will dream dreams and your young men will see visions as we continue to listen. Our sister, you're more than welcome to House of Glory Global Church. Introduce yourself, tell us your name, your age, and introduce the lady standing next to you. Me is my mother. Share with us your encounter and experience. For you fell under the influence of the Holy Spirit yesterday, and as people were ascending, you also ascended. Share with the people of God what happened. So yesterday, as the man of God was praying, he told us to stand up and start praying. So um, as I was praying, I found myself on the other side of the church because I was on the third row. Then um, as I was praying, uh, for the first time, I was praying in tongues, angel of the cherubim. Um, it was falling upon each and every person in the church who was in trance. So after from that vision, I 
went on to the next one, which was the vision of the 24 elders. They were coming down from uh, heaven. Now, as they were coming down, uh, when when they arrived, they where they they departed from each other. Twelve were on the right side of the church, and twelve on the left side of the church. Now. Now, um, I was uh, I was at the back, like uh, behind the overflow tent, standing there as they were uh, descending from heaven. Now, uh, the third one was as as I began to pray before I saw the two visions. Um, I saw in my face a lion roaring. Now, as the lion was roaring, I heard myself roaring as well. Then I also heard the, the apostles say, the generation of Joshua begin to roar. That's when I also began to roar as well. Now, to describe uh, the Caribbean angel and to tell you how I, I was able to identify the Caribbean angel, the angel I saw had four faces, one of a lion, an eagle, an ox, as well as a human being. Now, um, as uh, the, the men of God closed the service, I found myself lying down. And what I can remember is I was praying now because when the prayer began, all I prayed in was in tongues. But now I was praying, saying that I then heard myself saying, your name is Yoshua, Yoshua, there is none other than you. Now, um, I went home, and on my way home, I could feel that my stomach was full. I could, I, I wasn't in the in the edge of 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 eating anything. So when I when we got home, I asked my mom to only make only a small portion of food so that I can eat, because I could feel that I am full. I am not starving. I am not hungry at all. I was filled, not knowing by what. Now, um, what was happening is I was tired. I slept around 12 o'clock. And what was happening to me, I don't know what was happening because like, it was something that I did not expect at all. Now share with the people of God, was it your first time having an inability to sleep? Yes, it was the first time. First time after prayer, yes. Mama, introduce yourself. Tell the bail pack. Share with us your experience. Uh, people of God. Yesterday, um, we arrived almost at the same time that the um, the apostle was has, has already arrived. Um, we just sat there at the back and uh, listened to the man of God as he was preaching. And um, he said that uh, we should stand up and pray. But already, I was not myself. Uh, the vibrations, my body, it was not me. The power that was there, if I could explain it, I could say if a jet set up, that's how I felt, like I could just like spring up. Then I just held to hold on to the chairs on my side so that I couldn't spring up. That's how I felt. Then um, we started praying. When we started praying, I was down. I wanted to get under the chair because... 
of the power that was there. It was it was too much. I couldn't contain it myself. So I just wanted to find myself a safe place where I could just hide. Um, and as I was there, this is what I experienced as I was praying also. From flashes of what I saw, I saw faces just coming down like rushing. And the last face that just stood and looked at me, it was the face of an eagle. And after that, what I saw, it was the elders coming. So my experience, it's something that myself, I can't even explain because it's just like uh, rushing, 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 rushing. You see this and this and this and this and this. And then after that, as I saw the elders, that they, were, they, were, they came after the creatures, the worshippers, there was an apostle who was standing there. And then his name was Apostle Peter. Now How share do... with the people of... Share with the people of God. How did you know he was Apostle Peter? How did I know? The moment he appeared, it's like someone is whispering on my ears to say, Peter. And on this altar here, there was also Maria. And he had the white book, if I could say it, or the prayer shawl, where it has the thick uh, blue line in the middle and the two thin lines underneath and also above. So he was just standing here. And also, uh, from there, there was the moment where the man of God, who, he quoted the book of Revelation, whereby he said that, come up here, come up here. And from this corner here, I saw there was this thing, and I saw also the one up, going up, going up. Give the people of God the description of the stairs and where they were. The description of the stairs, they are not like the normal stairs that we mean like that, but the people were able to, to climb and go up. And then um, also what again that I saw, I saw a light imaging from, if I could say, from, from where I was standing, I could say the light was coming from, from Panti in Yuka. It's like I'm on the mountain, and then as it went up, the light was too much for me. It was it was too much, but I continued to look at it because I wanted to know what is this, what is this light, and it came up until it stood. So when I came out of everything, when I was okay, when I looked here at the altar, that's when I saw the way the decor of the of the cross is. So it means that it came from beneath and then it went up to that cross that was up there, which is something that I didn't even see. So I just realized it when I came out to say, oh, what I was seeing, this is what is up there. And also the last one, um, the apostle was praying, he was this side, this side. And there were screens um, here on the altar uh, whereby I could see where I was that the man of God is just in this position. He's not moving, he's not doing anything. But as I looked on the screen, he was in different positions than the one that he's originally in. people of God, this goes a long way to show that we are given praise to fellowship with the inhabitants of heaven. Now from what we, we heard from the both of them, what was predominating was the eagles and the lions. 
as the man of God kept on declaring and summoning upon people that dead lions need to rise and roar and all the eagles need to soar. We are indeed seeing the words and the declarations come into pass. What can you say to thank God for everything he has shown you? Um, to thank God, I can say since um, growing up, I've been going to uh, um, my, uh, I can say, I go to Zion, that's where to church. So I can say that God has showed me how it, what it means to become, to be a Zionist. By taking me into into the realm of Zion, where I could see things that no one can see, not people of the flesh can see, but people of the spirit can see. Now, what can you say, Mama, to thank God for everything He showed you? Uh, people of God, what I can say is that I remember when the apostle started, he started to say that um, the time of revival, God is just going to use nobodies. He, as, as long as your heart, you have opened up your heart, God is going to use you. I thought I was a nobody, but what I have seen, no eye has ever seen and no ear has ever had. As a human being, it is something that I cannot even explain. And right now I might be talking, you might be thinking like, ah, yeah, okay. But I just pray that God, you open up your heart so that you will experience it. Because as I left for home, I sorry, I didn't mention this. As I left for home, when I was walking, I felt like, in your telepans, but it's like, it's not my feet that are walking. And, um, on my right hip, I, there was this pain, and then I said, hey, Bami, and also the pain that, that I was feeling. So to me, it says that, as I encourage people, say that just open up your heart. And to the viewers, distance is not a barrier. Whatever that is happening here, it could also happen wherever you are, as long as you open up your heart. God is not anyone's friend. God has no favorite. In this time, as the apostle, as I quote, he said that he's going to use nobodies. As long as we humble ourselves and we open up our heart, God is going to show us wonders and mysteries. And lastly, we would like to remind the people of God that we do not get or receive these encounters for fun or entertainment, but we ascend so that our faiths can be encouraged and so that we may be prepared for the second coming of Christ. We are blessed. Therefore, now we hope you are also blessed wherever you are. Walk in the light of your testimony. Good morning, I'm in today. Good morning, I'm in today. Yes, people of God, we have now come to the end of our testimony session. Good morning, Andrew, today.
से आ लिखो लो लिया बसे आबा लयो पसे पसे आ लिखो भयो Oh, 
center of it all. There is nobody else but you. For I am proud to call you my father. For I am proud to call you Yahweh.
as long as I am standing, long as I am standing, nobody like you, Jesus. morning church and winter day praise the Lord we may be seated as long as I
There is power in life. There is power in life. Um, the greatest mystery and the greatest gift God gave humanity it's a gift of life. It's a gift of what? Of life. People of God. Death. It's an option. It's not a final will of God. Why death is so common is because it's because everyone speak of death. The Bible says only the living can praise God. God is not interested in your dead body because he desires the praises of his children. This is why this song, this is a song of life. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. These are chronicles of life. Say neighbor, chronicles of life. The resurrection of Jesus, it is the hope of defeat of death and grief. But that mystery must be unveiled so that you can walk in the truth. Men are made by their position of ascension. When you read your Bible very well in the book of Psalm 107, the Bible says, it is those who journey into the deep who will know the wonders of God and the secrets of God. Some of the things you will not know, they are not written in the Bible. The Bible is only as a, a, a book that is helping us not to cross the boundaries so that as we dip and go journey into Zion we are in accuracy but some of the things are not written there they are only phantom by those who can ascend to the heights Today, I am going to talk about a very deep subject. Back years, this is what I'm doing. It's my confession before I preach. I heard one man talking about the subject. And I was laughing. I said, look at this one. What does he say? Huh? Talking about immortality. Ah, oh, we will all die. Yeah? We were saying that. I said, ah. And the very same man died. And I remember one day I said, now it's the time. We will test if what he was saying is truth or not. He never rose back. It's only now when I'm starting to ascend I realize I was wrong. He was in the correct space. People of God, 
we are talking about the scrolls of immortality. Say neighbor, the scrolls of immortality. The rising of Jesus from the dead was victory over the death. When we say he swallowed up death, let's understand what we are saying. What has made our Christianity carnal, it is to interpret God in our carnal mind. The Bible says, if you believe, you will say to this mountain, be removed and throw yourself into the sea. The mountain will be removed. But because we are carnal, we are talking about mountain of challenges, mountain of troubles, mountain of this. But we cannot even talk about the real mountain. It's because we have not found Tom, the mistress from Zion. Say neighbor, the scrolls of immortality are being opened. When you read the book of Revelation, the Bible says, I hear the sound of the trumpet and there were seals that were supposed to open. People of God, Christianity it's not what we are doing here. It's not gathering in church on Sunday. Christianity it's a relationship. Relationship that has intimacy with God. It's by reason of our intimacy that when the scrolls can open. We become as a reason of our ascensions. There are things that locked up in your womb that will never be unlocked until the day you visit Zion. There is greatness in you. This is the reason why God did didn't create you in the likeness of angels. He created you in his own likeness. If I can tell you how powerful angels can be, you will be surprised. The Bible says one angel, if it can put his feet on this world, one third of lives will be lost. But God didn't choose to create you after the likeness of those creatures. He created you after his own likeness. So that even the angels, when you are in your fullness, they will ask themselves, what is this? We are in the hour of revival. The revival I am talking about, it's not about being shaking in church, falling down, miracles, but it's a revival that will also unlock mysteries that are hidden inside of you. The Bible says, when he died on the cross, he took the keys of death from the hand of the enemy. This is why the Bible says life and death is upon your tongue. Choose today what you want. Listen to me people of God. Whether you die young or old it's by choice. It's only those who are from Zion they will understand what I am saying. But if you take me 
by your carnal mind, you will think I am talking things that I don't understand what I'm saying. If a man was supposed to die, and the man, the prophet of that time by the name of Isaiah, went to him and said, put your house in order because you are about to die. The man was not a pastor, but the man knew the mystery of the altar. He went to the Lord until God changed his mind and say, I will add 15 years over your life. Some of you, death become, be, come to you before your time. But you think it's God's time. It's because you don't know the mystery is not unlocked. I will die when I have finished my work. And I will decide whether I die or I am disappearing. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 26 verse 28. Some will not die until they see the kingdom come. The gospel of immortality is a mystery that is not yet revealed to this church. The church has been here for 2,000 years, but we are still babies who are not growing. These things cannot be revealed because today what we are fighting for, we are fighting against one another. This one is anointed more than this one. We are fighting about members. We are fighting about this one. My church is better than your church. This one is better than this one. This one is... We are fighting for nonsense. Where else Zion is waiting for us to unlock great things. We see ourselves delivering people. We see ourselves laying hands upon people. They are healed. We see people coming in our church. We think we have arrived. We have not arrived. There are deep things because deep call unto deep. When you ascend into those realms, he changes your language. He changes your eyes. This is why the Bible says in the book of Revelation, chapter 8, verse 1, Come up here! And the man said, I hear it like a trumpet. Those who will be shown what will happen hereafter are those who are mounting up the mountain of Zion. In the mountain of Zion, my son, there is a body that is waiting for you. We call it a celestial body. Which Apostle Paul says, I want to clothe this body while I am on earth. My God, my God, my God. Paul was in between whether I should reveal, whether I should take the path of immortality. Because when you walk in the journeys of the spirit, there is where you need to make sacrifice. The journeys of the spirit. There is where you need to know. Do you want to go for immortality? Or you want to come back and give the church the revelation? So that you can go. Others will leave behind you. Paul was in between. Was chose between. But he chose to bring revelation to us. So that he can ascend. The only apostle who spoke about immortality in details. Are two apostles. It's Paul and John. Let's go to the book of Psalms chapter 8. I don't want to waste time. I have so much I want to say. But I, I don't want to say much. But I will say. You know when you don't want to say much but you will say. Yeah? I, want to, I don't want to say much. Because if you don't want, this are not This is not milk. This is meat of the spirit. It's heavy. It's heavy. 
It's something that when you can understand it, even the pleasures of this world, there will never be something in your heart. You will not enjoy the world. You will remain on your altar 24-7 to the point whereby you are transformed. Because when you go to him, you are to be like him. I want to know him! So that when they see me, they can see Jesus. When you behold him, you will be like him. You will look like the one that you saw in Zion. The beloved apostle of Jesus. The one who was sitting and sleeping in his bosom. One day he saw him in Zion. Haya. He said when I look at him. I fell down. I was like a dead man. But he said to me. Stand up. I want to show you. The mysteries. What do you think you know about God? Knowing God only on the context of the scriptures. It's not yet God. The God that will change the generation we are living in. It's a God you find in Zion. Let's go. Psalms chapter 8. We'll read verse number 2. Number 4 to 6. It says, What is the man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him? I kazi. The son of man that you visit him. Hi, Alakai. Hmm. Hmm. You have made him little lower than the angels. But this one, he doesn't put it well. The real Bible says, You have made him little lower than God. And you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hand. You have put all things, all things, including death, all things, all things. Say all things. You have put all things under his feet. It is not demons, scorpions, and snakes that are under your feet, but all things. Tell your neighbor, all things, including death. How not to have a lock at this side of a gate and go party, with the road is in it. Bear, bear scripture so more. You have made him to have dominion over your works. Number one, you have dominion over the works. And all things are being put under your feet. Let's go to 82. Psalm 82. Verse 6 and 7. I said you are God. I said you are what? You are God. And you are, I don't like this one. I said you should put it in King James. I said you are God. And you are all children of the most high. But in a context of the Bible. It says you are all the sons of the most high. The scrolls of immortality and the possession of God, it's only for sons, not for children. Children, they drink milk. Sons, they eat meat. The Bible says, if you are a child, you are not different to be a servant because God cannot trust you with certain things 
it's only those who grow into being sons. And Zion is only for sons and daughters, not for children. You can remain born again for years and remain a child until you die. It is a decision you make to grow. When you visit Zion, you start to grow because the foot of your growth, you find them there. Let's go, let's go. But you will die like men. What caused you to die like men? It's sin. And fall like one of the princes. The skulls of immortality. Today I want to talk under the subject. What is a man? Say neighbor. What is a man? People of God. A man is a mystery. That God created. To display his glory. We are made by the reason of our ascensions into realms. If you can't journey up, you will not be made. You will continue the journey of imitating others. Real things about you, they are discovered to take a journey of discovery. You must be willing to walk a path that is of difference. Men and women who are willing to take a path of difference are the men who are willing to grow up into the sonship because sonship it's not something you get by virtue you may have children and they grow you know among your children even if it's boys you can see a young one growing better than the former one and you start asking you are thinking like a child but your brother is thinking more like a matured this is what happens in the christian term the years of you being born again doesn't determine that you have grown. I pray the rain will not disturb me. I know I'm, I have a relationship with you, but for today, please, hallelujah. You know when I talk about this thing, oftentimes for the past three to four months, when we talk about these mysteries, the, the weather changes. I think you have realized that oftentimes. Now I pray that it stops. We move. We grow. We are made. We are transfigured. As a result of our ascensions. People of God. As you continue to behold the light. You are transfigured. You are changed. Listen to me. We metamorphosis when we go into the presence of God. You come in as a cat. You come out as a lion. Because you metamorphosed. It is the journey of the deep. It is the journey of the mysteries. This is why the psalmist is asking what is a man that you are mindful of him? You have put him little lower than God and crowned him with glory and honor. 
There is something about you that is not yet revealed which the resurrection of Christ is there to reveal it. We are the ones who are delaying the coming of the Lord because these mysteries must be revealed then the Lord may come. But we have a church in this hour that is even afraid of death to show that we are no longer a church. Whereas the church of our four former fathers they will even go to the point of being killed for the gospel. They were never afraid of death. But today's church it's even afraid of church, of death. One of the things I want to give you as a mystery is that the revival we are talking about, for a revival to be born, it will give people baptism of death. Men will never be afraid to die because they will know that I died in Christ. What is it that you want to kill because I'm a dead man? When they try to kill you, even when they try to slaughter you, you said you can slaughter this body. I am already dead in Christ. I can listen to me people of God. These are the scrolls of immortality. We are made to be like Jesus. <laughs> this gospel of immortality has been difficult to swallow. It is the same gospel that made 58 to leave Jesus. Because Jesus said, if you don't eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will not have eternal life. They said, you want us to eat you. Ah, the gospel that separates children from sons. It's a gospel you find in the real mortality doesn't exist. I preach this gospel because of some. <laughs> I may not be part of some, but I preach it. I may be part of some, but I preach it. Because the Bible says some will not die. I want us to talk about five things, five elements of a human body, of, of a human that will make him to be in the authority of Christ in this world. What is a man? This is why when you were born, you cried. <laughs> you cried but the system of this world has made you to forget where you are coming from Hakaita. there is where you existed before you come here and there is where you will exist after you have left this world where else some will not leave this world will be here forever as human like you and I The order of Enoch. The Bible says Enoch walked with God. If the man in the book of Genesis, they will live 900 years and never grow old. The Bible says there were 900 years, some 300 years. What was their secret? The more man grows, the more he forgets who he is. It is the technology you find in Zion. 
It is the technology you connect to it by the journey of intimacy. It is only in intimacy when we ascend to the realms. Why we don't pray because we want positions? Why we don't pray because we want breakthrough? Why we don't pray because we want a job? We pray because we know it's a journey. It is transportation. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have mercy on me. It's a prayer. You continue that prayer. Two hours passes. You don't know what to pray for. You such a have mercy on me. When the words are over, you are starting to cry. Hayaka. Hayya. Lakatandi. Ha. Hasakata. Hayaka. Lakata. These are men who will ascend. We are not ordinary. We are people of visitations. This is why the Bible says when the time of visitation has come, the people will see spiritual men as men. The people why you see me as if I don't know what I'm saying is because the time of visitation has come. Paulo sur une tenaille qui est de ban que la carte est carré kaba huluna. Haya. Oh, I feel I I was ascending to the third heaven. Oh, I don't know whether by flesh or by spirit, but I found myself there. He said the things I heard, I was told never to write them. Because they were mysteries of Zion. Hona lidi ntote redi tseba. Ntote tango reke fwa panelu wena koban. Hona lidi ntote ke tseba. Yew ke sa dume luang wibuwa. Ntote di stroi len samsone. Ko nta ma si piri. Sa nto a yi tseba. Ba yi soba rati ang motu ya mo le mo nyan pulu si tse. Utla me ili abe li nto ya hai. Utla me ili abe li si piri. Si piri se na ou se tola kai. I say ascend. Go to the gate of Zion. You will find who you are. In Zion, you are becoming, you, you, you become to reveal who you are. You find yourself, I may be small in the body, but in Zion, I am a big man with a big weak wings. Some of you in Zion, you have horns. Some of you in Zion, you are like an eagle. Some of you in Zion, your faces are changing like this. You don't know yourself until you visit yourself there. Go and visit yourself in Zion. The, the veil is broken, Ayakanda. When the veil was broken, it was an access. Hayanda kota tayi. Baba mbalo na hakibu wale luna chenana. Hale, you are not a human being. We are born as humans and we born and live and the creatures are coming to possess us. This is why when men look at you, they say, we don't know if this man is a human being or not. Because ona lintu ese inkeni. Etu wangin anadad kyalem. Hai. Hai. Businessmen. Businessmen are in the business world there it's dangerous hona le ba bang ba mathanka di ntho tse serious motho tla o tshwara tsena na o otlo ke stroke usane motho tla me ile a o tshwara ha o tshwara a o tla the vibrations of zion a o tla go tshwara ntho ho wena a o tla go upima man ya kada ke ka le ba ka le re sa tshabeng ba loi ho bana re tseba mo re tswante ke ka le ba ka le so re sa tshabeng lifu ho bana re tseba mo re tswante ke ka le ba ka re sa tshabeng ntho ha ya kada Mandoka. It's a system. It's a technology. It's a technology. It's a connection. Hi. It's a technology. 
the scrolls of immortality. My son, you may born be a weak vessel like this but he said let the weak say I am strong when you visit Zion your weaknesses are swallowed up by the glory you see in Zion five things that will make a man to walk in the fullness of Christ. Number one, it's a force of life locked inside of you. Are you aware? Many people who die, they don't want to die. It's because there is a force of life. There is something in you that is locked that makes you to desire to live. This is why when Satan comes upon a person, one thing that he destroys, it's a love to live. You see people becoming suicidal. It's because there is an attack over their lives. But a man or a person, a human being that was created by God, will tell you, even if sometimes he can be in an accident and the car destroyed, they will say, we thank God about life. We will still get these things again. Because there is a, there is a force of life created in you. In the gospel of immortality, we also have what we call anti-aging. You are the one who lock your aging. <laughs> but these things cannot happen until you understand certain things. Listen to me. The Bible says there is a rivers of the living waters that are flowing in your belly. When there is river, why things are dying within you when there is a river of living waters that is locked inside of you? The church that will discover the secret of immortality, it's a, it's a church that will discover the dimensions of life that is locked in a human being. What is a man? There is life of God in you. Christ in you is a hope of glory. Jesus that lives in you is not Jesus before resurrection, but it's Jesus after resurrection. It's a Jesus of life. The streams of life People of God, for us to understand the mystery of life, for us to understand who we are, we need to understand the rivers that are inside of us. There is river of life. You living the secular world, living a lifestyle that you are living, it is what is closing that river of life inside of you. Until we tap into this river, we will not understand immortality. <laughs> Let me finish quickly so that I don't waste your time. When man go and check in your Google. I'm a scientist. I did computer science. I went to honors before I can accept the call of God. I didn't come to ministry because get to look at grade seven. Get to get to get to school. Look up, get faster. 
Skana and take it and yana kieta one of the Get well let them say to a car was one of the data analysts FNB. We migrated FNB from where it was about 50. I'm saying when you go to Google, are you aware that the scientists at the moment are doing all their means to eliminate death? Very soon, there will be a technology that will be put in your body that will make you never to die because of science. Listen to me. I'm if you are telling me I am preaching heresy when I talk about immortality, go and look what science is doing. Technology is running fast. Children of God are sleeping. microphone manifest outside there. Let's go. Earth. While they were alive. Some are called Hermit fathers. You know Hermit fathers. These are men by the cause of intimacy who have destroyed death to the point that they could not die. I wasn't aware that some of them, they are still there on the mountains. You can only go to them if God has revealed them to you. Even in the early church, a man by the name of John was given anointing. He discovered life that made him to defile the laws of death. That man according to church history, they said they put him in the boiling oil of what? In the boiling oil. They said he will come out. They But I say, I saw the Lord. Johanne, revelation. Anna sina macho. Anne anka discole. Anka madia high. Anka karamacho high. Angola are. I saw. Aya katanda da kai. Hai shata. Magmelamba swaratia. Anim kutu in teki bua. Hoban house of fish is Zion. Turn on talk to Johanna Ushwile at the old age. They are lying. They don't know what they are saying. Anyone who believes John died at the old age is lying. John is still existing in this world. Johanna Bamu Kukile, Bamu Bear, Kapela, Kamaradi Bear, Bata Malena, the whole city. He could not die until they put him into an island called Patmos. The word Patmos means death. It was an island of death. But in the island of death, Johanna Anari, at the day of the Lord, I ascended in the spirit. I saw the Lord. Even if they put me in death, their death cannot come. These are men who knew the life, the streams of life that are locked inside. Number two, to walk in that, to walk in that authority of Christ. Number two, it's authority over a man. There must be a revelation of our authority over devils, not what we are seeing today. Listen to me. When I talk about authority over devils, wherever you come, if there is devil there, he will flee. It's a man. What is a man? We need to phantom this secret. Because actually we were not supposed to come and deliver people. How can I call it? Let me see how I wrote it here. We were not supposed to call upon the name of Jesus to deliver to people but we were supposed to come in the name of Jesus today we are calling upon the name in the name of Jesus come out 
but we are not coming. When you come in the name of Jesus, you become embodiment of Jesus. I read a story about one of the forefathers. He went to one of the deserts to go and pray. Hiya. People of God, are you aware even nature is under subjection of demons because it's waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. We are the ones who are going to liberate nature. This nature is bound or it's cursed for such. But to those who are in Christ, you can make Sefata Sadi Lamuni Sefaya Monan. Hosatsi Bahalo Sefai de Joa. You want to tell us that it's a man? Just so. Have mercy on me. Scania Sapula of Ancutrices. Kill la pool and turns a killer like a pool affair. One high number of the Tatamer shifted it to. Listen. I read a story of one of the five. He went to the desert to go there to pray. <laughs> they said he was there. After six hours of prayer, the grass began to grow in a desert. And the grass grew to his height in the desert. Why? Because the men who carry the things and the multitudes of Zion have come and he has delivered the land. It is by curse when the land is, unpro- is unfruitful. The Bible says your land will be fruitful. Those who are doing agriculture, they can tell me. The land, when there is a holy man, it must be fruitful. Because you are a man of Zion. Because Number three, a man has a womb of nation, nations lock inside of him. Inside of you there, there are nations that you need to give birth. But it is only when you are in Zion, when you travailed, you can bring birth those children. <laughs> One day, the Bible tells us about Abraham. The Bible says Abraham, he chose only 38 soldiers to fight five kings. Let me show you a secret there. Go to Genesis chapter number, number 14 verse 15. Go there. Don't go there quickly, 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 quickly. Every one of us who is here has a capacity to bring forth or to deliver or to give birth to nations. You begin as a believer and then you go to become a city and you go to become a nation and as you grow, you become the father to nations. Listen, look at what Abraham did. 38 men, they killed five kings. Go and read it, you will realize. But look at the secret of what Abraham did. The Bible says, Abraham divided himself among, among them. Aya. Knowing only Abraham is a father of nations, which means when he was dividing himself among 38 of them, he was giving birth to 38 nations. <laughs> hi, hi. So, the five kings could not stand 38 nations that were coming against them. 
This is why men who are coming from Zion today we are labeled to be sons of TB Joshua, to be sons of Joshua. We even call ourselves Joshua generation. It's because a man managed to divide himself because he was a man who was supposed to give birth to nations. He divided himself. I'm You can die with nations inside of you until you know how to unlock them. Some of you, you have nations of immortality. Some of you, you have nations of lions. This is why right now, let me tell you, when you give birth to children, as they grow, they become their own. You have nations. You, you, you have a womb, whether you are a man or a woman. In this world, in the spirit, you have a womb that is carrying nations. Number four, I said five, and I'm finishing. I see that the weather is against us now. Number four, until you know dimension of dominion, we must go to the dimension of where we will have dominion over earth, over world, over sin, over a lot of things. But I don't want to go there deeply. Let's come here. This is where my message is. Then number five, we must understand that the protocol of transfiguration of man. This is where immortality is. There must be modification of your flesh. Where you live above sin. Sin will kill you. Hatred will kill you. Of Mamel, you leave modification of the flesh. It's a first state to immortality. Number two, the quickening of our body. Where the spirit takes over your body. Where your body lives in you. This is the quickening of the body. Number three, then we come to the transformation, which is called the transformation of our mind. In Romans 12, you may be transformed. The Bible says, carnally minded is what? It's death. When you think the way people of the world think, you will die like them. The issue is not that immortality is not revealed. The issue, you must fight your flesh. You must be embodiment of God. You must be transformed in your mind. Then you, when you are transformed, you are transfigured. The process of transfiguration, it's when the glory start appearing in you. This is what Moses experienced in a little dimension when he comes from Mount Sinai. And then when he came back, when he looked at people, people said, you, you are too radiant. We don't know where you are coming from. Please, listen to me, people of God. When the transfiguration come, then immortality will be unlocked in you. This is why Jesus on the cross, he was not killed by the swords. He was not killed by the cross. Jesus, for him to give up his spirit, he had to decide. This is why the last word, he said, unto your hands, I give my spirit. If Jesus was never said that, Jesus was not going to die. Jesus transfigured to the point that even his clothes 
will see the radiance of his glory. Hi. <laughs> I watched one video. It was very very trending on social media. Hi. It was a man. I don't know which church was that. Maybe ke bana ba parandi apa go bana. Bana ba kolobetsa. I don't know whether it's in Nigeria or it's where. I don't know. I will try to find the video. When this man of God came with this man to baptize him in the water. Hono na le motane aba tswereka ka ka video. As they went to water, they became a light. I don't know some of you you may have seen that video. And then they baptized the man and the man came out. When they come out it was light until they come out of water, they became humans again. On the camera, not photoshopped. Can we try to remove people where they supposed? Hallelujah because of rain. Rain there.
Good morning and win today, brethren. At Seraphim TV and House of Glory Global Church, we appreciate your constant love and support you continuously render to us. In order to keep in touch and keep our services available and closer to you, we make sure that you keep updated through our social media handles. Join us, follow us, like, share and subscribe to our social media platforms to keep updated on our live broadcasts and special events. Remember, distance is not a barrier. The grace is sufficient and the Holy Spirit is not limited by distance. Join us every Sunday for our soul winning live broadcast Sunday service from 9 a.m. and partake in the anointing with the Apostle of God, Apostle Samarabate. Our Facebook handle. Samarabhati Ministries Twitter handle at House of Glory GC Instagram Samarabhati Ministries TikTok HGGC Live YouTube Official Seraphim T Jesus, thank you You know how, how, how very painful it is when you are not here and uh, you are watching life and uh, when you come back people are clapping their hands you want to know what was said hallelujah so for a process of transfiguration to happen which is the five mystery that needs to happen in you for you to unlock immortality you must number one you must modify the modification of the flesh living above limit of sin this is why we say sin power is broken this is why listen to me you can't talk about limitation you can't talk about the intouchable mortality on those struggle like a sebe we bend them in no because sebe the bible says desire gives birth to what to sin and sin gives birth to what death Some of you, you are struggling with things like masturbation, like pornography, like what, what. It is because you are praying to God to remove them. But the problem is one. It's not, leave at out close makala. Leave at out close the leaves. Go to the root. The root is a desire of the pleasure. When you deal with the desire, and this, listen to me, people of God, in intimacy with God when you go into the inner court hey how can I call it you go to inner court to intercourse with the Holy Spirit I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying it is the things that are hidden I will teach you about intimacy. <laughs> you will get to intimacy with the Holy Spirit until you climax to the gates of Zion. Then your mortality is taken away. Hiya. These people, they don't hear what I'm saying. It is in the inner court, the holy of holies, where you can see the nakedness of God. <laughs> when he reveals himself, as he reveals himself, things are downloaded in your spirit. Your DNA is modified. This is what Peter, John, and James, they saw they were in the inner court and they saw the nakedness of God and they said, Ah, Master, can we build the tree of your car for you, Moses and Elijah? This is the church. That will be part of this revival. 
<laughs> Maybe you are a Timothy of this generation. Maybe you are John of this generation. Maybe you are Peter of this generation. Some of you you will inherit immortality. You will defeat sin. You will know about life within, the life of Christ within. Hey and Tembo John. Laba salba le ka ga Patmos pas ke bashwa. Johanna ngwe tsi buka revelation as na mahlo. But another I saw the Lord. Moi longo re laba ka ga gaula hlo ya hao. O ka nna wa ikuka hlo ye wa. Nthotse na di etsa hetse mona in this world. Hi. They are called Jewel's army. It is the times of the martyrdom when the children of God were being killed for their faith. Ho tlekana ko ho nona le batho ba ne ga ba seuwa di hlo ba gaula jolo ka ISIS e gaula ba Kristen di hlo ha ba ba kata ba gaula hlo ba ba mbalona ba bona ba ne ba ya di hlontsa bona ba di kuke hape ba di beu di mabona hape ba tswele pele ba gerefa ngedi it is they ai hai 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 man Otsamaya ha wena so ba tla otsamaya le fatshe mo. Give me the oil. Come. Where is the camera? This is why today re tlolwa na le spirit of death. Mudimo itse ke tlo le fa, ke tlo anointa everyone ka anointing oil. Eke so listen to me. I am deeper than the way you think I am. Tatsin la ka sheko ke tlo le tlotsa ka oil and it has been there on my altar for years. Akwe ba e ngotswe akwe akwe ngwa. E ngotswe immortality. It's a fragrance of Zion. Baba maluna ha ke ka tlo le tlotsa ka yona you will have long life. Baba Mbaluna hakikata o le tlotsa ka yona you will be taken ai ya katanda Baba Mbaluna hakikata o le tlotsa ka yona din mamela ho tloetsa hala din thotsa le sadi u tlisisi I'm here to anoint you to live This is why I say choose life Ha e baba tla u shwa shwa o le mong choose life There is one man of God who was there in where that clerk stop or where The man had an ex 38 accidents to the point where by mo ona ganna hampi ena he we pula tswe ke cancer re tlwela taba hai ma ona ganna hampi ina le motho ba 38 accidents to the point ya go memalifu mo lala wa hai uno tshwatle ile tshwatle ma ga ona ntsa rega to the point where by the doctor one of the doctors fainted hai cheka kana le bitsa ntho e tshekang ka ke scan ha tsheka ka scan ho bona hore the condition ya molala wa yo he ask what kind of a man are you the man that reveal my man ho tshwana le motho ke 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 le jo tse ke in the past people of god re tse ba di revive le tse tsa hetseng ka bo tl osborn ba thu bana ba tshikile di diba tse o re tlameng ge ya ho tsona ge lo nwa ho tsona bo tl osborn e ne re ha re ka le bitso la jeso ho no e ma ba thu ba 300 same time on the wheelchairs another one I told you about it it's a woman ane nga sa ntshitse mpopelo a ntshitse popelo ya hai a batla ngwana prayer was made prayer was made she became pregnant without a womb mara you don't understand these things because o tlona na re a hlanya ke testimony re le di scan tsa hai ne di bontsa ngwana ke yona o tema ha ka ga popelo Mwana ba hla Ka ga Lagos Nigeria Mosadi ane nga sina popelo le a itseba ba ba lolona ba ne ba shebella those times ana sina popelo at all when the one of the wise men prayed for him he came back with the report ya ba doctor ya hlalosa ere 
popelo encha ehlayile butsha which means by subata ha ke ga o atsebe ha e ba ke le motho ya deep in the things of the spirit ho na le tsebe yengwe e le hodimo e ka hlahang hape mona ho ba le nthongwe le yengwe mmele ngwa gao e na le spesa yona le hodimo the scrolls of immortality God bless his sweat Jesus name Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Let us stand on our feet The resurrection of Christ it's a life in Christ Immortality a re tlo e phela ka bophelo bona ba huna re phela ka bophelo ba Christ People of God they can wait ho na le batho ba bile le intimacy le ntate modimo le fatse mona ho fihlela ntate modimo a banka ba bang ba bona ha o tse ba hale go ba felletse kae Enoch was walking with God until God taking away modimo ha ke ke be a o dumella o o tlo bona bo fela ba ha in the inner court aba o tlwella o tlo tla o phela le fatse ngape Hai <laughs> ah Ntena iba kwa yetu ake hanga When there is hunger in you to seek the face of God you see God Blessed are those who are pure in heart for they shall see God We are in the real realm Mo ba tu ba tla bona sefahlo sa modimo and never die Empa moshe mudimo go huyena no one can see my face and live but Christ has a fihlile ge a gona go reveal you e tabowe o bona se fahlo sa ntate Pa maluna ke le shoma le na le mapheyo hai hai Let us go to Zion. The beautiful city. In this ministry ke tlo le fa le bese. Na khonya na uli ruta ka bo. Na na ha bo ntso hlulo ya ka unforgiveness le ka sheku. Ntso le ngwana. Go Kenya ka ga tuhoni ba. Jo hlulo ya offense. Ka sheku tshe. Ho tona le Saint Yohana ke mang ke Saint Joseph of Capac whatever the one who was a fly monk they said he was like a stupid ina la o motla ka tlapa a tshe ha o moga ka se ta tshe mara ina ha ba intimate ai but bana ba bona motho a float ha bitsa le bitso la Jesus to the point ya hore ene ha ba tlo ja se communion ka pasilallo bana ba tlame ba motlame ka diketane ho bana bana ba tse ba hore any time ha nka communion wa fofa motho which means body high necessarily weak to the point ya ha mo ya wa high o ascender o no nka bo hidi ya high ke le yo tsitsa ka ntate wa ka simoyeng in the mamela ho tlwa di 10 di 10 tsa may who feel the 19th of may you must be here because we are redigging the wells of revival ke le bula letse ka yana ka re na go tsa santsa le ha o fela tlotla tsa makatson ba go na sa strike la ho phela in the body ba hanga tena ga una ibla especially kana ko na covid ba thu ba le siko una sa strike la to the point of any time we are lending ha na meditate fell ba ne ba bona body ya ha e drop a fatse re pa then ba tla mo nka ba re ho etsa lang ka yena o tla go tla fta 3 hours e re ha go tla ba jwetse ho nontse etsa lang ho etsa lang ho etsa la ha ba jwetse i'm coming from south africa let us pray for the president let us pray for this one let us ayi akata da da there's a man of zayo hey mamela ntho tsena ga di tseba tsena ha re so di taste bo samuel ga boteng in fullness 
but mutimo sanza ke nkonka mutimo wa tsa tswana le ngwana ha ntso mo qopeletsa ha nyane o mo yetsa alla ka tsentho ana ke a ba tlofeta mutimo na le ntwa sa mpontsitse yona kutla ke la ka tsa nka nka ileka nka re nka ya ka go yo ha ke tsebe se ba ga tane ntshwarene nka na hantse ke ya ka pele ke be ke fella ka ga yona ya ba ke felletse ka ha ke tsebe because i want to know him and the power of his resurrection the cause of immortality ha hey hey worship the lord what is going on like great man hey mamela ribua kapanna hona le monna uganda ya satse ba haleng ka lebitso ha ke no bua bitso la hai he is not part of the lineage of the prophet but this man Hola ka fitla in a city ile ti to pota 18 di ame ka pela hai e lo go na le crusade a re tlisa batho ba fa ba shwele batho ba re bana yona na re tlo mo bontsha ha tla batho ba 18 ba shwele fatsa ha ya khatanda that man ba hola ya ho stupo sa pe a rise up in the name of jesus se to posa yema a ya ho sa bobeni a ya ho sa bago a ya ho sa batho ba 18 ka fela ba yema hai It was even recorded in Uganda. Batse ba nge re sa itsebe. O ya ho ma Hindu. O ya ho ma Buddha. Ma Buddha ka ikenya di na le timona. Batsa ma u tima mollo be ba satshi. Be ba re ke power of meditation. Gona re le ba Christ. Ha re itsebe ntwe. O tsaba le pain. O tsaba everything. O tsaba ntwe na. O tsaba life. O tsaba ntwe ngwe leng. Ha we itsebe go ma. We are not given the spirit of fear, but we are given spirit of boldness and might. Haketsebe go ma dia di mathaya. A sa felletse na ka ga tone ya Jehova. Ma ha e ba sa felletse. Ayalla. This is why people are going in the book of Hebrews. There is a cloud of witnesses that is around us. When we went to Zion, we met the souls and the spirits of the righteous one that were written in heavens. Ke ga le ba ka le. Ba 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 lona e tla ga le ba la ba be. O ta bona Isaiah ke na ka ga go pray ya home ha. I am here to explain to you what I was reading here. O ta bona ho ke na Jeremiah. Haya kata ya. La kata mando. Hiya kata nda. Re kopana le dintho tse re etsa gore ma se dlule zintweni se nga shukume se dlule zintweni zinzima. Sithi haya kata nde. Hiya kalaka because we know the Christ in us. Yes. It is true immortality may not be for everyone but it is for some maybe some are here i need to preach it so that they can realize themselves haya la katande hi akabaka hai i don't know what is happening but i want to tell you i sent my son i sent my daughter i sent my father i sent my sister i sent my mother so that you can hear you you can know who you are in Christ Jesus you can only know yourself until you visit Zion there is you in Zion that you need to mirror there is Christ this the bible says there are heavenly blessings in the heavenly realms that we find in Christ Jesus there are blessings that are I Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. He katabai. Rakatata. Reketetata. He da katabas. Leketetetesi. Nakatambaka. Holy God. He akatais. Hai. Holy God. Hai akata. Hai akata. Hai akata. Hai akata. Laba yakata. He akatanda.
in the realm of yourself. I don't know. I don't know what I was saying here. I don't know. I don't know. I desire you know reality of Zion. I desire get rid of hatred. Get rid of sin. Get rid of your sin. I want you to pray. You hear the here when we were in the dominion prayer here. We are preserving them for other dominion nights, dominion hours. From tomorrow we are starting a fasting of three days, a covenant fasting. Every day five o'clock we are here. We are coming to pray. Mysteries. We want this thing. We want dominion. Hi. Hey. I need vibrations. Move na ifika la kamisa. As God, Father, give me understanding. Give me grace to tap to the rivers of life. Prayer, 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 prayer. Give me the grace, the tap, to tap to the rivers of life. Come, 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 doctor, come, doctor. Where is doctor? Doctor, come. Come, come, come. Ask him, ask him, ask him, ask him. I just want him to sing this song. This only one song. I want him to sing this only one song. This one. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Tap to the rivers of life. I want to tap to the rivers of life. Prayer, 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 prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Morena. La camisa
thank you. Lord Jesus, we give all the praise and the honor. We worship your holy name. We glorify you, mighty Jesus. Let your name be glorified. Thank you for this word. Thank you for this promise that we find in Zion. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let the church say amen. Give the Lord the hands of praise. You may be seated. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Wow, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Bring me. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we what? We serve. This is a... Uh, life it's by grace that you are among the living today and that you are among the living gives you a privilege that those who are no more Life is a gift which you profess and you confess. You proclaim life. You speak life. Though we do understand it doesn't matter whether we we do what? We live long or what? But I say Desire to live long. Desire to see the goodness of God in the days of your life. Let's go to Psalm 118. This one we know it very well. 118, verse 17. I will not die, but I will live. I will not die, but I will do what? And will proclaim what the Lord has done. So, the purpose of why I am alive, it's continuation of proclaiming the goodness of God. This is why when we live a life that has a purpose, you will not be tired to live in this world because you will desire to see goodness of God so that you continue to proclaim what he has done. When you see the goodness of God in your life, you will desire to give. Today our children, our people, they desire to die because there is nothing good to write home about. But the psalmist says, I will not die, but I live to proclaim the goodness of God. The Bible says, May you see the good, may you taste, this is the psalmist says, may you taste the goodness of the Lord in the land 
of the living. And God is saying, I am not the God of the dead, but I'm God of what? The living. There's something that we are, we, we, we need to go deeper about life. Because when he spoke about that, he said, I'm God of Jacob, I'm God of Abraham, I'm God of, you understand? But he have that he says, I'm not the God of the dead, but I'm God of the living. And when he was speaking this thing, these people, according to our nature, there were no more. But God sees those who are living in Christ Jesus, even when they have departed, he sees them still part of the living. Let's leave it because it's deeper. But life, it's a gift. I pray you don't take it for God. why many die today it's because we have preached death so much today and one of the things that makes death to have its power in you it's sin in your soul it's death to come and attack you a man by the name of Sandu Sundasai somewhere on the mountains of India no one knows that this man is dead or is still alive if he's alive he's around 400 and something years the only thing they know about Sandu Sundasai he, they said they met him giving them instructions of life they went to check the whole mountain they never saw his body they never saw his bones his the bible says enoch walked with god and he disappeared people of god what i'm saying is if life is what we love it's what we confess it shall be given unto us. The Bible says, Choose today life and death. I advise you, choose life. People of God, this day means life. And this life is Christ Jesus. When he died on the cross, it was to give you life. People of God, sin power over us is broken. If power of sin is broken, why are you still walking in the path of death? Look at the man who has chose life. When you read Psalm 23, even though I walk, in the valley of shadow of death he said because there is so much life in me he said i fear no evil the bible says this life will swallow up death it shall swallow up death was a woman who had a spirit of death which is what we need to deal with today this woman in the bible the bible says he married the first son the son died no issue in nigeria when we say no issue we say no child the second brother married the same happened died no issue until the seventh one and after all the brothers in that house they've died no issue the woman died there is a power that operates that kills everything that brings life in your life this is what we need to deal with 
this is why i say people of god choose life speak life make decisions of life because life is the greatest gift god has given to humanity this is why i'm saying whether it's your career any trace of death whether it's in your finances any trace of death some of you even your spiritual life is dying bit by bit i see spirit of life hovering upon your life I say I see spirit of what of life spirit of life hey yo we have life we have spirit of life we have death we have spirit of death death is not an issue even life is not an issue but the spirit behind someone may be dead but spirit of life is still there this is why you will still be regarded among the living Ay. someone may be alive but the spirit of death operating that's why he is regarded among the dead but while alive spirit of life hovering on top of you in the name of Jesus life to your health life to your career life to your finances life to your marriage life to everything concerning your life in the name of Jesus this is what you are going to receive i say spirit of life choose life it's by grace forgiveness brings a free spirit bible says in the book of luke we know the scripture 17 verse 1 to 4 it says things that will cause offense they will come but who and to whom they come with. So, what does God say? I'm so sure that this is not the end. Esther, Bube, see how far you brought me. Esther,
can see, I can hear. And I know it's your grace for my days. I will see you. us here our visit thank you so much for loving the church memory if you are not came in baramon and edu lang you like a cold color memory if you do love work away and i work away and i work at a car over to a demo memory if you and i came in baramon and i bam baba to what is like here and i'm on <laughs> Hallelujah. So thank you so much. We really appreciate your presence. Without any way, I get to know like it's a protocol, get like a protocol. Get to know that televisa, get chief weepy, get to chief weepy. Get to know that when I sell my head, Roma. Lebo sa nyaba mo na wa botse ba hantle. Ya lebo. A go mo pele ba tsoa ba so ga ta ta televisa. Ke ya mo hele me ma li fula ka ji. Ma me ma me ma me ma tsha ba la ka ji. A wona ntotse go wetsi tso go ntotse na ditlo ma gona ga ga. Alala ke re ke ga alala. Ya lebo. Re amuhele me memsi bi akere memsi bi majoro wa wa tabo mufuta nyani wa wa emero na amuhele ili alale kia amuhele nta te saki nta te saki mukwe na emisi ya akrigalcha o amuhele ili nta tuwa God bless you me kia amuhele boshle ba zaman lebona. Me a ke tsebe ke mang ya ke mofang a tsebang di protocolo go la telana jwang eh di taba tsa te mago go ena motho a protocol ke a bo thank you mme eh ja le bo mhlanka wa mdimi go tsomba ena dumela amba ena sane bonane Eh iri kenke monyaka wonana ke le bowe me ke re ke ananele ka pa ke hlompe the first lady of the house me rapteng em ke le bowe lona bo hle ba teng monana o bane em mosebetswa ka o bo bonolo ha holo ke na hana hore eh apostle sanketse o mong wa mosebetsi me ke tlo kopa fela ho ananela ba ita pele ba teng kwano le makhanselara me ka hore ho rona ke na le ntate le gata mo fokeng ntate le gata mo fokeng ke e se thosa rona sa mogatlo wa rona e bile ke sibini sa gospel ya khola la mutla mona le se di FM hantsa bina ntate le gata kopa fela ho yeme ka mauto ka pele nyana fela ke se ke ka senyana ako ke a le bowa me eh ke ananele boteng ba le khansela ga la rona me tolang ke nthinya ke le khansela ga la monana ha e maluta phofong me tolang ke ke kopa o yeme ka mauto eh ke ananele boteng ba khansela mama ponisa mukwena eh le yena ke le khansela ga la monana ha e maluta phofong ke ananele le khansela ga la rona hape la mona ha e mona na maluta phofong khansela melebesa e ke ananele e ba ita pele ba rona ba ba sankho boteng botile le rona kwa no e comrade mkwena ke ananele boteng ba modula stulo wa rona wa African National Congress Women's League eh ibile ke member ya mayoral committee ka tlasa ke tapela ya mekhono msibi me ana fume 
ona le lutu le leng ka skanna ntse tso mbuti eh ke ana nele eh boteng ba me malikula melatu me malikula melatu ke mama tlotlo ntse tso mbuti hantso fundraiser fundraiser hantle motha re 11 dibla no teng ke mama tlotlo wa rona wa african national congress e bile ke le khansela ga maluti a phofung me melatu ba ena ke na hana hore ha ke ntse tshe nana ke qetile mosebetsi wa ka me kitlo kitlo kopa eh ho me ba ena ke a tseba kang title deed eh ke na hore ma stanso teng ka jeno le nana tsa tsa me a go qoqela hore na ho etsa lang go bana ha re no tla mo hlaina le mo hlaina le mo sena le tsena le tsena ka fela ntse go tshepisa dintho di sa etsa hale me na ke tlo thowa ke tlo dula fatshe ha ke dula fatshe ke tlo kopa eh majoro wa sebaka majoro wa pheta hatso me masichaba la kaje abuwe ha qeta o thowa fela me khoni msibi majoro wa thabo mufutsanyana district municipality abasa ntsa tshwara maike ka mo ga mono me khoni msibi o tla ba sa introduce le tona la rona la tsa la tsa temo angere eh le yena ha bohloko ba ne ha holoholo ke thabelo le hore ke le tona e bila ke ngwana wa dladleng o tswa ka ga thabo mofutsanyana lo le ke ku tlo thumetsa go la lubisa wa habo eh apostol ka batla e bona ka taba yo ka jeno le nana ka nne thumetsa go la lubisa wa habo na eh mela ka je ya le boa baeng Ala ala ka kerekeng ala ala is fuang kereke mona ka nete ka jeno ke du medicine ta twa rona ta te mruti rapteng mme phutheo yohle bonta te bohle bomme bohle batho ba batsha ke le du medicine le tsone le letlela mrana Jesu Christ amen umunate umemelwa kereke gore ka mo gore tsa mailen le dipolitiki le re thusitse la kala re fa invitation la re tle ke re ke re tlo fumana tsoseletso ka nete re tlo fumana tsoseletso ke wana mo matla a mo tshwe mo le e mong ya dumelang ho morana Jesu Christ a le nteng ona mona jwa le ka nte le re thusitse la re ya ke le tle ha e seletsa maile na kwetelle ka nete re le boa modimo a holo ka boteng ba ntate muruti wa rona ntate ra boteng le ra bona ra e ba le bona e khona ba se ba tsamaile na kwetela ba sa Kriste a tsuha le bona ba ba tsuha le yena maybe ba neng ke tsatsi le le holo ka jeno ntate muruti la tsuho ya morena Jesu Kriste ya neng a thagisitswe a shwa le re tswa re kena ei le tsha e e e ves e vesli cha holo ho bil patlelo ka nete o bana ntshwanetse e fang khedi tu malaka be hudube ka nete ke le bo amdimo a holo e ke le bohe le ka boteng ba kereke yena kereke ke kereke kgolo ha holo ya bshokwa mc le wena le ma councilor le major wa strik kereke na ke kereke e kholo ha holo kereke na o rebeteng mc ntate muruti ra boteng o ila strangela fona ko etelle re nentse re le mo bos tshabalala ine le meyara wa maluti a phofu a ba re no ha ntate muruti antsa e tla mana ba tla site re no to ko bile mo isa ke kena ke ba majoro a ke re jwale he le batla ya ratua MEC ka sebedi sa menyetla o mo o dula saiting yeo jwa le ke tshwere matla ke re e fang ga di tshantsi rerwe e ne rerelwe hohle jwa le muruti a o mbeile montso re ke mkobobo ke mkobobo ha re re hamnati ha phuthuluwa ba no ntsana na re masipala ka nahla matsi o phuthuluwe jwa le ho itswe ke tlo bua hore na 
Messiah na o tlwe mona eh Councilor Malifu Villegas le botswa ka title deed. Or title deed ya mo handle ntle ka re a utlwa hore le re mona re se re dutse a isa le mokobo bo marara na title deed. Ene ke ntwa bohlokwa yeno ya hore le batle title deed tu baneng. Ho ke ke ngwana bo wa fela ka molomo wa thwe mona le se le dutse mona le tsebe a title deed il si. Ho sa ne matla ha the wa ho nna o kene monga ye monga fitla re ye title deed kai ha ba u tso ke alu na mo title deed kai jwa le ha u fi ha u fi re sa re phetetsa ntle ntle ditaba tsa luna mona sa di nepa hetse ha u fi ha u fi nta de murutu wa ka e tlo tliswa ke nna mo ke tlo itsisa e bile ke ne ke la ka tsa hore ke tle le ma councilor ra ka re itlise e le kereke tsena re itlise re 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 tlisitse title deed no mo again ba eti ba runa ba etla mo le nne le ba botsa yona ke yena re pepese ka hara ke reke jwa le mona ntate muruti wa ka diphutheo ye ntle e gabane bo ntate le bo mme bo usi le bo buti le dutsi mona le sika ba latsitseng e ha ona mo le ante title deed yona itsileng jwa le monga mo bu sa bu ile he ha o sa na tse dintse nga ta monga mo bu o yentse jwang eh eh le adula he re le bo a modimo a o le fa nkhe di ha e ha so e pele bana be subaneng ntle le le ntse la ntate modimo bo phelo ha bo yo e bile di ra le ba loi le di nthotse me ya e mebe ka fela ka nnete ka re hatella ha e fa nkhe di ka ba siko ka po ke ke ngwara ngwara rwa le ntse la modimo e fa nkhe di ha e jalwe e pele ke a le bua nta te muruti ke a le bua phutheo ke a le bua MEC major wa street ke ma councilor a matle le ntsela nta te mdimo lona ha le jalwe le epeli ke a le bua district municipality le nna ke ema mona ho tlatsa hore re le puso re le masipala pele re kena ka kerekeng ka mona re kile ga tsa matsa maleng tate mo ruti ga bona le tshimo ka ntle ga bona o rekereke yetsa e le liano le wona re linkileng ese district municipality a ke tse bo go ba neng ri le ramengwa mona ba tirena le programme ya rona ye re tsamaela ndikereke ka o fela ha re tsamaela dikereke ga ba tla go tseba hore as a church what is it that you are doing in the community the role of the church in the community ka ba ka la eng la hore re ya elelwa lo re mohuo wa na ha o e me ba bang e bile ha o sa tshwana le pele ha motho a tsoha ya kerekeng ba bang o so tsa tlamea hore bo go fihle kerekeng tshwantse o kenyeletse go pogoto ka mantswa mang you need a transport and how's na transport how's na shelter o pala ma transport o keke wa fihla ka na kongwe kereke so it's part our of our budget and ka ha re o diphutse o tsa gona re ya elelwa bo holo ba batho ha ba sebetse jwa le ke eng se o kereke e ka sietsang hore ho ntshetswe phutheho e leng ka ha re e sa sebetseng ka what is it that the church can do hore ba itgreze tse di funds So that is the program in Tsa Makayo. Re shebile ha holo holo ba o bo marona mane me ra buteng. Nna ke shebena le batho ba bo mme ha holo re. O you as a mother, go ba ne motho mo le mong ha atla alla o tla ho wena. What is it? What is the project that we now we start an ka ga kereke? We emise go ba na ba ha o ha balla. O ske wa lla le bona. Jwa le re le ano le o re tsamaya mo re le district municipality. But for now a ke batho re ke re I will commit my commitment to the church gore the doors are open at the mrut as the district municipality re tsebang ka o fela gore the district municipality ha in and twa bitswane lekeno so but the little that has been we have been allocated from the national government ke mo go gona go bona gore 
ha se re fihlile ga bona tsheka nne tintate ga buteng ke ya no ina le yona tshimo tshimo e sebetsa eng what is it that we can do re ka tla gona re tlo tshepisa eng ho se o se o re nang le sona se senyane ha hololo le msebetsa gona is to play a role of coordination ya ha se re tsibile ka kereke na elinteng le hore di tlhoko tsa yona ke di feng ke ya fe msebetsa gona ke hubula mamati will go to all the fears of government to say what is it that we can get for the church so ha re le mona tsa tsinla ka jone re tlile e bile re ananetse kopo yeo ka pa invite ya hore re tle ka ga kereke empa senense senense re thabetse hore ha o tla ha gona ka mona ke ho tla hopola hore ha ntlentle nako ya paseka ke nako e feng tate bishop eh ho tla ha ka ha re ka mona tate rabute ko re kereke ro ule ya kereke ha ntlentle le hore nako ya paseka ke nako e feng nako ya paseka ha ntlentle ke nako ya khotso ke nako ya puelana ke nako ya rebirth the new beginnings and ke nako ha ke bua ka nako ya khotso ke nako yo re lokelang hore ha re gapelleng khotso ka ha go humalapa mo ho neng ho sina khotso ka ha go imisebetsi ha o be le khotso dina hentse ka ntle even we go beyond ka ho ntle ka ho dimo le continent ya rona re ya bona ka go palestine ho hoetsa halang re ya bona ukraine man ho ntse ho yetsa halang re ya bona bo russia ho ntse ho yetsa hala eng so uh, the role of the church ke yona yo le go na re le batho ka 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 retso is time for us ha go khutlele morao re khumameng re gapelleng khotso me the only message that i can give to you gary let us all keep on doing good because how we etsa hantle ha ho na letho le o hlabisang ka ditlong even if you cannot you don't give something positive now but if you keep on doing good ketellong ya letsatsi gore you have a purpose ya o re ka le leng la letsatsi la matsatsi o tlo yetsa hala e so as the church and the government let's work together hore re khona hore re ntsetse ditabatabelo tsa sechaba sa gona pele it's only through the church mo re ka bonang hore ditabatabelo tsa pele tsa 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 sechaba sa gona ditswela pele me pele ke dula fatshe ke tla kopa hore ke re ha hona country e tla bang e tla tswela mpele ho sina khotso ka ha go yo so ha isa le re le ka ha ka ga country ho tla 1994 re le ka ha ga puso re ntse re bua le ntswe le le leng fela le ntswe la poyelano le le ntswe la khotso le hona jwa le ha re ya re libile di ghetho re santsane re bua mantswa re batla ho bona di ghetho di ghetho tsa ina le khotso mo batho ba mamellana nang teng ka pa megotlo ya dipolitiki mamellana mo batho ba nang di choice ya bona ka ha re o dipolitiki empa re mamellana re utlwana hore di ghetho tse re yang ho tsona e be di ghetho tse nang le khotso me re tla go thaletsa mo themo le mong ha re yeng di ghetho re dumetse ka 1994 hore re batla puso ya democracy puso ya sechaba ka sechaba me re tla ya mo re lo ka sta di vote tsa gona go puso ye re batlang e tla e phethahana me a ke tshojolo ntate mo huti ke re mama ti ya bulehile me re tla tlama gore re kopane na kwe kgolo le nyane a ntlantle ke mothara ba ndi phone ke ai a ga ba motha message di whatsapp ke di arabela like ba ka fast to say so di number tsa ka diteng to ba to bao e bambana hana go batla tla ba lakatsa go ba ka tlo bua le nna as the district mayor me ke tla kopa ntate mo huta si secret di number tsa ka batho ba di kopa go ka nna wa fana ka tsona hore gkhono bua like ba ka to say o la hlelefela ke papa ma like ba 5 past 2 nna ke a arab when not a bona o seng ha o tsoge ka ga bo ya ka itse but most of the time my answers are very positive ke a le bulella bile ke a le tshepisa ba tseba mbatla le bulella ba bangwe ha ke tsho jalo ke re ke a le boha mo go tika hore le re bitse me hore re nne re tle ka mlaetsa wo wa hore re tso sulose tshepo le ka ga sechaba sa gona se bona ha lang se 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 felletswe ke tshepo empa re re ha e le pele re yaya will keep on doing good re tlo dula re a encourage abatho ba ha bo gona hore ha ho na mohla re tla lahlelwa ke tshepo ka ha ho na ha ya gona ya ha bo gona ke le bo medise tatemuruti le memamuruti ma pastor 
ke di tsantle ke ka ata protocol ya kereke ka be ke thola ke le mathateng ke dumedise be ata pele ba kereke ke dumedise phutheo eh ku twilo re na ho dumedise nda tem ru thu good morning vale morning e tsamale le tsatsi le tshaba ntle mahlase bi a ding go ka le a tsatsi le le tsha ka le a bophelo bo phethaetseng ne ra le kutlwile le naun tumedi sa ska ma kala ke re good morning na ma posto la ke fumane memo e phethaetseng ke mengwe mo nentse ke batla o mengwa te o ba le ke ke le mona ke ikgathaletse ke mosebetse e ha e kala nentse ke o tsotsela ha o dala ntsore ra ke a bona re ma ke a hlaphoela a ke tsu bona ko telele mara ke fitlile ka mamela ka pelo e phuthuluileng ka fumana revival le re hloka go bana go sebeletsa sechaba se nthwe bonolo ke nthwe bima re sebeletsa sechaba mara re sebetsa le sechaba eh mathata manga ta ha fele ha re na bona bogoni ntle le tshepo le tumelo go matla modimo re ka gona ngore no re shabana le mathata re sebetsa na dona tsatsi le tsatsi o re ho rona le fula ha le tsoa ya hai eh ke tlhatsuo ya dibetsa rona o re lwanetse bophelo ke modimo wa bophelo a se modimo wa lefe ke mo ko kotsitseng teng tswala ha re le bo mo nga bophelo eh e le ngore no tsoa ya hai re hloletse ho lefe o re bentse re yeme re le teng re phela e bile re na le bona bo nyane bo ba rona re ka kenya le tsoa ba ke sounds a tshaba sa borona pele me ha ke itebuela na le beke tsa mang le bona ba etapele ba ba di khansele ya district le ya maspala le ba etapele ba mogatlo bo busang eh a ke na mantswa mangata na ntate murute eh ntle lo re no ha ke le bo re ntumeletse ke tlo hata mabala me ho se ho nna ke tlhonolo fatse golo me ke tla go tla hape mara he me ma tshaba ale na bthata ba ka gore a ke sebetse ka more than 2 weeks ke go ba out to khutlisa title deed umbi tseleng eh ke ba tawe bona ka mafo a ya ta be be nkile le motseng a ta tse ho hang eh a ke le tona fela ka ro free starter eh ke ntone ba bitsa district champion eh mo sebetse wa ka ko aggregator tsebetso ya muso tlwa national government province in district in le maspal ka le mogwere lwa ntshitseng gore no ditsela di beteng ka re kwa kwa di hawe ke mogwe ke tlokopa me ma tshaba ka tlompho o mathelebelo gore ka mora beketse pedi o re bitse re tlise title deed vale eh o bane are na ba ra etsa tshepiso e feta mmone be re sa iphetise na mo ke tshepisa ntendi ya etsana go bane ke a tseba re no e a se a ka ja se mpa ke le morumua jwale he Mama Shaba hi sadly president wa tlamo o tlatlalewa ke nna ka sohlolong gore a a re ntse tshepiso re swaisi so a ena ba feta be ke tsepedi e sa tla ba apostola ke 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 mathata tla mela ra lokise ka mogwa o re sebeletsang re sebetsa le tshaba ka ona gore re potlakele ntla tsa bona eh ena o lolotse matleng a rona bona ke rata gore tshwere matla jwa le matleng a hao matlenga o ya modimo wa tsonolo fatsa o fe bohla le rona ka la bobedi gore title deed ya ne e ready and i le ready ke go pa e print e be golo go tle we gore ha re kena mo re tla re tsore mo e lo re go fokotsa bi ma ba kereke eh sa bobedi eh ke bone team ka man eh ka thaba mara ka ska thaba ha kalo go bana ha ne re tsibile o tla ga le rete nka ba le teng re fitlhela re romela batho ba le fa pa hore ha ke le bone le ka thusa jwa o ba dira gona o kena ka ra mo tsere fane ka dipeu re sa pote batho ba rona ba jala ho iphidisa tse salam ba tla gona ba tshetse ba ba me ba di se di marakeng gona le bonta te be re tla ba romela ka la bobedi ba fihle ba tloshe ba re ba ka sebetsa jwaan le kere so re batla o bona tshimi e e na le dijalwa e le tala batho ba tshepela kerekeng ora ke na dula ka le phakwa ke le kerekeng ke lo re re sara masedi nka gona re no ke fumane dijo ka pakile ba lapala ka seng e ko hai eh 
hata henda twa district eh murutwaka o boso mo botsa tsedintso ba tlhomo botsa tsona tse nna ksa ditsebe ha o mo jotsitse tsona lutlwano tla tse ba rno yena a etse jwale re tla bona re no re tswela pele jwang ka ho lwantsha mathata ka ra se bakase murutwaka se bakase na sinal mathata a tlhoke ya dijo ka tsela e phameng a hore ho na le tlhoke ho ya mesebetse e affectang kholo e lo rona le bana ba tlang ka mla rona ba go lakara yo ke ka ho le bona re ke ne re lwana ka ro kwa kwa so rona re ba rata kwa kwa ho a e so ka hore ho yengwe ka maoto e lwantshwe taba ya te go fihlela e ya mane mo re ba tlang re no yetsa re le ba re tla yetsa le dikereke re tla yetsa le marena re tla yetsa le bohle ba gathalang we e ma o kenya le tso ha ke ketela murutu aka eh ona le ntato mongwe mo kore ya ne re kopane ka la boraro o fihlela re no ke kopalo ba pa la video are bontsa bona ya bona e tswanteng in the last 100 years mo e sentseng ke ntwa eh ba bitsang civil war ke a warana na korea north le south ene le mpya ho me are bontsa mo khoba tsa meleng ka hona o khutlisana ya bona o fihlela mo e le nteng ka shiko mo e le re no re tswara di phone tse tswang korea ke samsung ke tv ke ke engwe na tse tsotse mpela ho lo ka re le fatse ke tla kopa morutwa ka go ntumelle ke romele video ye go ishebenga ha o ka le hlotla tse ba tshe ka meata pele le mohlanka ba modimo re no tla etsa eng ka yo mara ke nana molaetsa wa bona ke molaetsa mo holo o tsamaisana le sono se rara tsa tsela ka sheko me ke le buile modimo a bele lona tsaki o ka tlanta toka o re ke mang a tla ke ntate ntate le besa a protocol e ntate sa ga mokopela tshwarelo ho tla ka moga ha o ntate wa ka lai le spadi ke ntate spadi ya levo eh motsamaisi wa msebetsi eh ntate muruti apostol rabuting mema muruti le tona le khabana la temo majoro wa kwa district majoro wa maluti a pofun councilor sememcs bommel bontate le bohle ba le kelang ke thompo eh eh ha re bua le bitsong la simuso tshema o so ku pile tshwagalo ndate morutu wa ka hore protocol o se re ro dile eh ha re bua le bitsong la simuso eh ha le tona le le holo se le buile se re buile ha re sa ta re sa bua empa ha re bua bo emong ba di politiki mo no galakana eh ha ona e monga ka duma e mong eh ke di vote fela tse re bolellang ona ke manga ka duma e mong ha le se di ghetu ha re a re libile tse ka le kadang ka o fela e mpala lo lo rata o le bo ha holo eh ntate ra boteng eh ka je lona re thutile ntwentsha apostle hore we can walk in the resurrection power matlenga tsuo matlenga tso o bule nthongwa bohloko ha ntso bua mona ke la ka re i will refuse to die i will defy death lutle nga te buru toro ho swa rata e ho swa rata ha wena o rata o tla swa ke ba nthwene pheta tswa ke le ntswe ka gare bile ka mane o tla o re ya dumelang ho nna le ha shwile o tla phela ya phela nga dumela ho nna a ke ke a shwa le ka mo hlaletsa tsilelele kona ke ikhusisang hantle na wa dumela o tjong ga phela ka ofe impala lo jole ya tlo bua na go telele le nna le ke ba tla ke ba fela mabedi a mararo eh me khonu sa buile le tona le majoro re a re lebile di ghethong tsa naha eh e reng ke litsibise nna he le monsena eh ga la ga re e tsheche ya o tsheche ga masoba le ya impailong ka matla re tla bela re khutla ha ke le a tseba hore e ye re ha e le dikgetho eh ke tle ga ga ke re ke na ke buele lona ke be ke le kopwe ke re le mvotele ha ke ikome ya re ke bona be mmakantse ba ikoma mona ba tshaba o bua ba tshaba o bua be ke khutla ha pe ke tota ke re ke a le bua 
impa ya re tse o tshatshara masoba le ya impa e long ka matlafela 2026 re tla kopanang hape se re lo kopa mfela hore ho lona le le kereke nda ti murutuaka apostol le khuma me ka mangwele di ghetho tse re an re libile ke di ghetho tso bonala hantle di tlo fapana le di ghetho tse di e tlo bonala hantle tle di ghetho tse fapane le di ghetho tse di biggest elections in the post apartheid south africa ko re ke di ghetho tse o ha o mametsi di puo tsa ba eta pele ba ba re ka nna ra ifumana na ya rona e shabana le ntwa ya bana ba mpa ha re ke ke nra rapela ke le ghetho la pele le montse mashume a mararo in the in a democracy sentse ru tla le phele ga di ghetho e monga santsa ha ka lang hlola fela di tlole bontsha ke mang ha se di puo tsotla meleng afrika bo kwa re di dumelle me ha re di rapelle go tshikebe tsa etsa hala ntwa ke nthwempe ha ho le bone ukraine ho etsa lang le bone ho etsa lang afrika di nantse di ntsa afrika ka 1975 ke ha o ka lang ntwa ya bana ba mpa angola e lwa ne dilemo tse 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 mashume a mararo le ka jile na angola ntse re thutuka ha le ka jile na hontso na le dibomo fatse tse ile ntsa bakwa ke le ntswe le reng ha o ka nhlola ka se ka hlola di ghetho tsena lo ta ntse ba na nna ke mang gela ga bona ho lwanwa ho plantwa dibomo ho tle angola ho di na hentse bona angola mo hontso ena le dibaka tse ile ndi land mines mo re nna batho ba tsa mateng di ba otle di ba gobe di ba gaole maoto mme ho na mpa go batla divine intervention impa ra tseba le dithapelo tsa lona ga di tseba ga di thepa ga tshepa modimo wa matla hohle ho re ho ke ke wa ha etsa hala go bana nna ha e lwantsang e itwantsang ha ona mo ya ntengo so buile gore sa korea ene le na ha ile ngwe ya rolwa ke tsona ditaba tseo tsa dipolitik mme le ya ru thutana ya o tlana impa ba ile ba tsoa ba ema ka jile na ba ba lolo ha ga dina ha tsetso tseng pele le fatshe rona ge le ba eta pele ba dipolitiki se o re tla mengwe se tsa fela ko ha ha malapelo ha o a hela morena se chaba se phetheile re ro yena modimo ntate thato ke tla phetha ya hao impa ha inkimela dumela o ntlatse ha o fitla sitsimana ha di wa nthwene a o tlatsa sitsimana ho na le batho botla ba bona ba fetha batho ba ha o fetha bona ba ba pala papa di o thumkia madaisi madaisi mona e mong ha jwe o re nlase o re nlase impa u tlwa mina thoko re ha inkimela dumela o ntlatse ho tlo re ha inkimela ke hlolela dumela o nlase le rona thomo ene re ifueng re le ba tapile ba dipolitiki ha re dimela re ro ke ho fa ya matla ho hle a re tlatse me a re tsharele di di tshito ntsohle tsa rona me ka ena no tlo ene ke rata hore ha re be le di ghetho tse na le khotso tse na le botsitso bakeng sa bo kamoso ba bana ba rona me ha le ya le lo ghetha le ghethe ka tlhokomelo e kgolo ha holo hore na hena ya rona e bena ha e tsotse mpe ndate moruti ga le bua ha e le mona o re memme re ka nne re tle kwano eh ke na hana hore eh eh ha re tlwa mona e re ka ke re home home re bolele hore na process ena title deed e le la tetseng ke a ke re se gone o eletsa gona le tse jwang ka pele pele go le gone o fumana e title deed e lo re haile e lokela hore e majo go le tona ha le bugile le buile haile e lokela go be le council resolution majo go a bitse le ma speaker ba bitse council ka pele go ba itse resolution e tsa go e fiti sore ke se ke la le tona le sa bo ine na nke be ke batlo go me ke le nteng la opola le lengolo ne ke tlimo ka re ke tlotsa go le tlhole lengolo 
ka mo ga di beke ka khutla ka ntlise tsa lengolo lo thunse tsa ka salo lwe le no ja ke batlo sa ntle le go nona le bona o nona le bona le ba bua ke bele ke to thusa be masthaba re beke ntse pedi go bona le ka ga bo etla monana le ha e ba go mme le bo le ha e title dit but process se be le tse ba gona yo ka ntate morut i will have life and regular communication channels with you wo re luke seta bena title dit ka ga tla e sebetsa ke a le bo Ere re ske ga ga hlola re re yetsa re senyana ako re le buhile ne ke na hana hore ntatele besa e ba no o re ntse re ya kwana le kwana na o go ba itapele ba ka ba deika ha ba tse bi hantle ntle go tlamele ba reng ha ba bua me ke ba tla hore ke re ke ne ke na hana ho go o tla ema monana ka se ka ha hlalosa hore yena o chechella morao hore a kope hore ba thong wele lona ba nsapotang na ke a kopa ke kopa hore le votele african national congress me ke ba tla hore ba ena eh ntona ke le eto ha o le mwena o le ngwana modimo tlo utlusisa hantle ha ba israel ba tswa e khepeta ba la ba imelwa tseleng hantse ba tsamaya ke ho pula hantle ba ba mbane ba roa ka lefa ba roa ka ba roa ka na ba re ho ja ga e bila di khenkhetsa fa go ne bile di libetegi ho bane ke ne re gona ho ja re gona o etsa tsohle me ka jeno lena ke tabena na ke batlang ho go se tshaba sa gone ke le etong ke le etong 30 years ngwana 30 years ka 30 years e leng ho re ile ga dula modern 310 years ke ntse re hatelletswe e ne se ha e bonolo me ge a tseba go di ngata tse re di fihleletseng me di ngata tse re tlameileng re di etse e ke na hana o re le nna ke tabe ke le party le me khone msibile bo mme bo mme mashaba ke se re tlisitse e title deed ene ke batla ke hlalosa re title deed e ha re ske ga e ga e fang name tag re re ke ke title deed e tla monana ho ya ka ditsha tse ke re ke di kopileng ke tseba ha ntle gona ho etsa halang me e ke a le boang ka thaba ha holo e ho bona hape ba ita pele ba gona ba kentse le tso ho ntate moguti ho tsheka foundation ya ke re ke enana ho gona ho re re a ha ke re ke na ba ruti ba bang ata ba re ntate moguti ga o rata ho feta ba ruti ba bang ke ba hlalosetsa papang ba kentsa bona le wena o khona ho kokota menyako yohle o invite ba ita pele ka ba o invite e e bo majoro ba tshwereng me ho no bontsha hore o na le setswalle se o tluluhileng sa o sebetsa le rona batho ba tshwereng e muso ke a le boa ha holo ke le boile ntato ya wesel ago ngotlele ona mo drumming yes yes hallelujah 
Adam and Gabo to give up a country to Saudi. I told you I kill him. I told you I kill him. Jesus, he lived Yes. Tabo itendi putel Jesu.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, we thank God. So, we will go to the second dimension to come and pray. You have your oil, like here, and your, the soil from your yard. Today, the main issue is to fight against spirit of death. We are, we are canceling an appointment you have with death. It's not yet your time. Hallelujah. So, the, uh, if you don't have oil, you didn't... <laughs> Part one, the, the subject was, what is a man? I was trying to make you understand the, 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 the mystery behind this creature called man. We are still going to talk about things like incorruptible nature of man. Where you need to know technology that can make you technology. When I talk about technology, I talk about prayer. Prayer is the greatest technology of the believer. That even when cancer can come in your body, how do you kill it before it kills you? These are reasons why people like Jesus, they were never sick. Because once your body gets this transfiguration, you start to Phantom mysteries in Zion. Go and check the word Zion. The Zion. You will realize it means the heavenlies. Real and heaven. The, 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 the reason why I like to call it Zion, not the, the heavens, is because when we talk about heavens, many of you, your mind just switch off. You think of after death. Hallelujah. So you get these mysteries where some of the saints that we celebrate today, you know, some of the saints that we celebrate today, their bodies, after they died, they don't decay. As you are a man and a woman of Google, go and Google incorruptible bodies of the saints. You will see there are people, one of the saints that is touching my heart so much, they said his body, even the temperature, it's like of a human being who is alive. But the only thing that is not there, it's a heartbeat. You, you, it's a soul. It's just sleeping like this. His body is still reacting. But he's been dead for 200 years. He cannot decay. These are incorruptibles. 
transfigurations. This is what when even when sickness attack your systems, you know how to change the DNA and the molecules of your body in order to kill the sickness. It's skulls of immortality. I may not be able to phantom all, but there is an error that is coming that will phantom this mystery and men will live. The revival coming, it's a revival of nobodies where you will manifest in different levels. The case of transportation it came over the lives of people like Bo Philip. They disappeared here and appeared somewhere. Preaching the gospel. Why don't we believe that God can still do the same in our time? When he said the latter glory shall be greater. The Bible says if you believe in what I the Lord is Jesus, you will even do greater works than the one I did. We are not even fitting Matching the works Jesus did. When are we going to do greater works? The problem is Satan is making us to focus on things that don't matter. Anytime you start holding offense, hatred, you are holding things that are not matter. Hating this one, hating that one. Oh, we are not into that. This is a game we are no longer in. We are men who visit Zion. We visit Helen. We, 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 when I go to my prayer, you think I'm still there. I'm no longer there. I'm captured. I'm taken. In some instances, when I'm sleeping, I'm praying. I'm praying. Even if I'm unconscious, I just speak in tongues because I'm giving grace. It's something that happens. So, you, you need to ascend into these things. And let me tell you, if the church can capture this, no demon will come in our midst and never be exposed. You need to have authority. Hallelujah. So we are going for, for fundraising program. Troubles and challenges in our lives requires no invitation. I say it requires no what? It is only when we don't know We don't understand who we are in Christ Jesus when we will see another person's trouble as a punishment from God. Troubles requires no invitation. When someone is in trouble, is in a challenge, we have to be very careful of how we perceive that individual. When you read your Bible in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 2 verse 11 God or Jesus is enlightening us not 
to be ignorant of the tactics and the ways of the devil. Children of God must never be ignorant on the truth that there are powers and forces of darkness that influences the behavior of people in this world. People of God, we pray for your grace over them. Sustain them, strengthen them. Father, in the offices that you have given them to serve your nation, to serve the people, Give them strength and ability. It's not easy, but give them strength and ability. Father, we pray that you cover them and their families with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Father, no evil shall come near them. No wickedness shall come near them. They are protected and they are safe in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Spirit coming and descending, falling on people. But we grieve the Holy Spirit when we are holding grudge, offense against. A brother. People of God, the Holy Spirit will not remain where there is grudge, where there is offense, devil, to the point whereby hatred, rage, and jealousy, the Holy Spirit. This is why the Holy Spirit is not reality to us. Because we are full of offense, jealousy, competition, and the lies. When you have a bad feeling against a brother or a sister and hold to that it that bad feeling you grieve the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit cannot remain where he's grieved cannot do what cannot do what cannot do what where he is what where he is grieved We turn to shortcut our destinies because of fighting battles we don't need to fight. When you fight a battle you don't need to fight, you end up holding offense. You end up holding hatred. I want to know, are you a custodian of good news or are you a custodian of evil in your life? If we can remember that we can never do anything, we can even never please God without the Holy Spirit, we will know how important is the Holy Spirit in our lives. He is a sensitive spirit who is not free when a man's spirit is bound. Your spirit loses its freedom when offense and hatred starting to matter in our hearts. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. This is why the Bible says forgive. Listen to me. There are people who 
continuously hurt us and they are using the strategy of the devil in order to hurt you so that you continue to live a bitter life and never experience the reality of the Holy Spirit in you. When you have a bond of love and a bond of peace in you, it doesn't mean offense will not come. Mark my words. Offense will come. It is impossible to live in this world without getting opportunity to be offended. People will offend us. But how you respond and react to that offense determines our future. Jesus loves you just as he loves any of his apostles. Jesus loves you just as he loves any of his prophets. But the problem is your spirit is holding grudges. When something great is about to happen in your life, devil will use one person to try to make you lose focus. It's a, it's a plan of the devil for you to lose what? 